Good morning. Hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm Rebecca. Good to see you here. Welcome. I'm glad you made it. <clears throat> oh my goodness. It's Monday and got still waking up from, I don't know, from who knows. I'm, I'm still waking up is what I need, what I'm trying to say. <clears throat> so, um, yeah. What's shaking, everybody? Just was over hanging out with Janet for a little while. Um, I actually caught like an hour and a half of her. Usually I catch like 20 minutes. Sometimes I catch a little longer. <clears throat> My voice is not awake yet. The rain just started to come down, so allergies are going to be crazy. Hi, Anne. Well, welcome. Have you ever been here before? Anne Hayward. Very nice to meet you. Hi, Melissa. I don't think you have. If you haven't been here before, you get a surprise. Surprise? <laughs> How you doing, Melissa? So glad you're here. You're here early today. Way to start a weekend, weekday, oh, the week off. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm not awake yet. First time visit. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. And... <laughs> that's your surprise. I just, everyone that's, that's new gets a little tune, <laughs> gets a little tune. I have my coffee, fresh, 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 nice, nice, yummy, and way hot today. I don't know how my coffee pot made it so hot, but woo, hot. Woo, 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 woo. Everybody, uh, make it through the weekend. Everybody have a nice, um, nice time oh i have to um i have to what do i have to do um hello rebecca what do i have to do i need to open up um gosh darn how do i do this i may not have us muted you may hear some back feed hello everybody that's popping in from janet's thank you for catching the bus. Uh, she's probably still logging everybody on. <laughs> Let me go here. Um, how do I do this? I want to open it and maybe I just have to open up my, I always forget to do this. I mean, all the time I forget to go in because I stream on StreamYard. So if you are a new streamer and you don't know, and you use something other than YouTube, which I used YouTube forever. And then I started wanting to stream with other people. So I use um, StreamYard. Well, once you have your, um, let's see here. Once you have your stream going, let's see here. Once you have your stream going with StreamYard, you can go in to youtube i'm teaching something here i'm not very good at at the whole teaching very much but once you okay here we go so once you have your stream which i have you all right here on Streamyard, you are watching me live i can go into my studio at the same time guys um yes i'm teaching a little bit here you can go into your studio and this is when you want to change it to um you can go in there people are having problems with the trolls coming in or the, the bots coming in and causing problems, putting bad words in the channel, things of that nature. This is when you go in to your, um, your studio and you change it. You can change it to uh, subscriber only. And that gives it so that, uh, you know, they have to actually be a subscriber before they can chat. Not that, um, and I love that you were able to come right in here. And hello, Jean. Jean Bainey, is that correct? Am I saying your name right? Hi, Teresa. And Janet Nash, are you new, Jean? Am I, is it Jean or Jeannie? Everyone, they say it different. So, uh, yeah, so this is when you can go in, even if you're on StreamYard, you can change it to that that minute so that um, so that the, the bots don't just come in there and start throwing all kinds of bad words in your channel. Yes, Jean, Jean. Okay, excellent. Excellent. And this is your first time popping in. Please let me know if you're coming on in over from Janet's. Yes, I just changed it to that you have to be a subscriber, but please stay that one minute. I 
think I changed it to one minute. Please, I'll, I'll check because now I'm worried that I made it five minutes. No, I changed it to one minute. Okay, just stay that one minute and uh, say that you're new so that I know. Hello now, Irene. I know you're new because I don't recognize your name. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, 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 Irene. Welcome, Irene. On Mondays, I sing this song like crazy, Janet, because all of your lovely people come over and and no i've popped in before just listening in the back well i do appreciate you gene thank you so much Teresa. you are not new you're just trying to get me to sing to you <laughs> and poor janet she's going to have an airworm from me singing she always gets that airworm so we're going to do roll a cat which i know some of y'all are like oh that's so for kids but I'm going to do something different today to show you that there's different ways to use roll a cat. So yes, the basic of we will roll the cat and yes, we will get the direct, we will get the pattern, but this is just the way we're getting our pattern. It doesn't take that long. And um, if you can just hold on and hang in there with us until we're done rolling the cat and done getting our pattern done, then we're going to do something a little bit different today. Hey, Beth, good morning. Oh, mm -hmm. that is hot, hot. It, we got, we're getting some rain, some little downpours. So yeah, so this is what we've done in the past here with um, the roll a cat. We roll a dice, it gives us a, a pattern to draw. So that's where roll a cat comes in if you have never been in or done a roll a cat. So that's where roll a cat comes in. So it gives us this pattern that we sketch out. And then with that, we put it on paper. And I like to use, you know, fun little paper. Some turn out better than others. We do little stories. Uh, we get little little uh, poems sometimes or things like Becky Waters wrote this for us. Oscar the cat. His name's Oscar. Oscar the cat fell out of the tree. Here's the tree. That's why his eyes are all wonky. So it, we do a little bit of fun. Having a spot of English breakfast. Hmm and let's see hi sherry how are you oh and here's one here's cat kate the cat so um you know we just did uh you know again we rolled to get the we got uh the pattern and then from the pattern i cut it out of paper and uh we glued it down and made like a little picture here and uh, here's whiskers the kitty She's playing with some string. She got it all wrapped around her head. But again, here's the pattern. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to start off. We're going to make us a pattern by rolling the dice. It just takes a couple minutes, probably five, five, no more than 10. It matters how much side talk and I do. Sometimes I get rolling on the side. Um, and we're going to uh, make a pattern. However, we're not going to cut a paper today. <gasps> Ooh, what could it be? But we are going to do something a little different today. So here's my book that I'm, there's my, um, my Halloween one. Sometimes they turn out better than others. I'm just going to say that sometimes they turn out better than others. But, um, but it's always the, oh, we did uh, the book last week. We did, we did all kinds of roll of cats last week. We did a little zine and did roll of cats. And let me tell you, um, Becky Waters, hers turned out so adorable. She worked on it all week and she finished up and it looks so cute. So first off, we need a piece of paper. Oh, oh, oh. I'm on a piece of paper. It sounds like a cat is in the litter box playing. Why? Why do they want to play in the cat box? I don't understand. But it, so the first thing is first. Now I'm not going to, It's. you'll see. We don't need the book right now. I want to come up with the sizing of um, the cat today. And um, so like I said, we're doing a little bit different today. A little bit different. Becky Waters made a kitty cat zine. Yes, she used the roll of cats. And um, yeah, it was, it, she made a very, very cute zine. Let me get out the, um, the page that we use here so that, um, yes, this is the one that we're going to use today because it has a little bit simpler lines. And again, you'll see why we need simpler lines. Um, this one. Okay, so let me let 
let me share this so that we can uh, so we can do some rolling guys and get up get a little piece of paper out and you can play and you don't have to do um, exactly what I'm going to be doing once you do the roller cap part you sure the heck can go ahead and just do um, you can do the paper piece and I won't tell so here we go so we'll see we have the dice and we're just gonna oh wait that's a that's what we that was that's a scarecrow that I painted the other day <laughs> no I didn't paint that one that was the that was the thing that was and I have the dice so it will it will it will roll just fine so get your piece get your pencil out everyone have their pencil their their uh so there's not even any much creating really this is the easy part here we go so number four and i do it this way for you guys so that you can see number four is this one and i don't know why this roller cat starts you off with the with the muzzle but it does and we'll just we're going to just put the muzzle in and it's a uh um uh, oh well well what it let, let's start over it's monday it's monday so it's okay if we start <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking there. Okay, muzzle. So it's straight across. It's it's an upside down V, but with soft instead of corners. There's soft corners. So there is is there it is, there it is. There there we go. So much. It, it mine's a little pointy. It's a little little more Siamese. And then the nose, and it's got a holy cannoli. He is a happy cat. And then the whiskers here. Okay. So there we go. Easy enough. Easy peasy. Um, number six for the body. So we're going to go down here and this is going to be the body. And the body just comes down. You, I've been doing these for like two, three years, guys. I, sh I should be able to do these. No problem. I still I still don't do them that great. <laughs> It is what it is, though. It is what it is. It's, it's, they're still fun to do. Okay, so here's the body. We're going to come around like that. And, uh, you know, he's got a leg like this. And here's his little his little piggies. So like this. And uh, like that. I'm not sure I ever done that one. But uh, we're going to leave it like that. It doesn't have to be perfect, doesn't it? Because remember, we're going to be, you know, either cutting it out or, 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 coloring it in or you know so number five these are the eyes oh those are cute little eyes these little eyes right here and you they're just it's just a little you upside down you with some it's, i guess it's a girl with those eyelashes she put her a fake eyelashes on today there we go and then um four so four is this one and that's going to be the ears which are these ears right there yep i'm going through them kind of fast guys so you can always uh um go back and watch or i will show you but it is supposed to be just kind of a quick sketch you know you know it's not like a um a, a, a drawing that you're uh it, it's a quick sketch so so sketch along with me sketch along sketch 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 and then the last oh, is it the last one i don't know is it the last one yes the last one's a tail and that's number two. Oh, and it has a luna tail wherever my miss luna is i don't know she's been she's been kind of strange lately i don't know if she's not feeling good or what but we're gonna go up it's kind of a uh a bushy tail and that's it that I told you quick 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 now are you guys ready are you guys ready for this let's see what's going on over here I actually think I brought the wrong thing in with me <laughs> oh I might have to well I won't have to go anywhere Oh, no, 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 no. We got, we, we got it. All right. So. Are you guys ready? It's, it's going to be so fun. All right. Here we got. Look at what we're going to do. We're going to do it in fabric today. Yes, we are. We're going to make this little stinker in fabric. We're going to sew him up because I have been 
I finished my scroll. Um, I really haven't worked much on the scroll uh, lately. Where is it? Stop sharing. Um, I'm a sketch artist. I, I'm a something. I'm a something, Beth. So here we go. So here we go. Today it's a Monday. I don't understand. Uh, yeah. So um, and we are going to make it out. Look at oh Beth here. Here's all my all, look at all these pretty batiks actually. Ah Beth, I can't draw it all. Well, this is a great way. Um, this is a great way to to practice and start is with with this because it kind of gives you the very simple curves and lines. And well, thank you very much, Irene um yes it is it's so this is just a stack of of some of my batiks that i uh this was a stack of five by five five at least five by fives um that i had purchased so yeah the, this is i was just going to say that this is going to be um what beth is doing tomorrow she's going to be making some batik fabric uh this is some batik that i bought from a uh it's from a uh, quilting shop so but yeah, so go over. Oh, Beth, 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 Beth. Don't put, nobody put Beth's channel in. I need to try something. I have something new with Nightbot. Oh, not Pirate Ship. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on, not Pirate Ship. Hold on. I have, I think I have a way for you to put your channel in. And not only Beth, but other people. It's going to be so wonderful. I've been working on this darn, I've been working on this command and I couldn't figure it out. And I finally figured it out so let me see beth if you would would you type in exclamation point share with a capital s has to be with a capital s i need to probably change that so then but exclamation point because that tells nightbot hey i want you to do something it wakes him up and then um and then the word share s-h-a-r-e gaga for gluing hello you're new hi trudy i will not remember that you'll have to tell me thirty thousand times welcome 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 to my channel welcome 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 trudy hello in there look at that look at that beth it put your channel in is that not well somebody click on that and see if it does take you to beth's channel but <laughs> I believe that should take you to best channel. Yeah. Um, it will also, I, I, it will work for, I, I it will work for anyone. However, um, there is a cool down and if it is, um, if it's overused, I will turn it off and only make it so that, um, you know, I'll make it so that it can't be used. But I don't think we're going to have that much trouble with, with that kind of thing. I think we will be fine. So, yay. Hi, Cheryl. Oh, look at Teresa. There's a cool down. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> but give it a minute. In this way, when new people come in or when you're trying to share somebody's somebody's channel, um, they can share their own channel instead of us going out there and trying to find it, you know. Um, you know, so many times we're looking and looking and looking and looking. You don't have to remember your name anymore. Well, that's correct. You are correct. So I finally figured that out. I finally got the kink out of it that I was having problems with. I think we have to go with a pink since she's got this really cute eyelashes and she's a, you know, she's going to be smiling. We've got to probably use that pink. And I think these polka dots would probably look cute. And oh, so my point was, my point is Beth is going to be teaching and not teach. Well, she's a good teacher. She'll be teaching and showing she's going to be doing it for the first time. So she will be showing and learning and teaching all at the same time on her channel tomorrow night at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. 
so oh I think I like this one better it's like pinkies and purples together look at me I don't know look at me I don't I love this one I've used so much of it I had I think I had a fat quarter of that one okay so anyways yes this is this is what oh here I think I just found it these are my oh I think I only need two colors right maybe I should do these two they kind of are really complimentary hello oh I said central standard time didn't I oh now don't you guys all go crazy and start sharing your own channels please ask if you want to share and then I will I don't want everybody to start using it I don't want to have to write code that you uh um uh, oh look Janet Janet put you in too <laughs> I don't want to have to write code that if you put it in too many times or too fast that you get kicked off my channel but anyways I was so excited about that I don't um I, I want us to share I want us <laughs> sorry I had to try I know I know it's okay today today's a fun day we're good today's a fun day of learning it it's my first time I'm excited that it's working I'm excited that my code worked I've been working on it for about two weeks and I finally oh look at how pretty this one is I've looked at these all so many times I might have to I don't know guys should I go with the pink this I'm going to use I think should I go with the pink or the green give me your thoughts throw your thoughts out there for the cat the pink or the green the pink or the green no I was Becky Waters isn't here but I was just going to throw this to both well I only need two colors honey you want me to do those and so I'll do those you said both first so I'm going to just put this one away and we're going to use those two all right here we go now now that that's the fun part I made this I'll show you this I made this a while ago but this is my uh my needle book however as you can see I just it doesn't open up very often because I just stick it out, stick them in there. Um, <laughs> but see, yeah, it does work. And I got my sewing and I even made little pockets because sometimes, you know, I have, um, I had, they, I must have used them. Uh, I have needles that are in a little, in a little binder, you know, the, like what they come in. And I had those stuck in here um, in the pocket. So, uh, um, <laughs> not being used as it's supposed to be but yes hello safia afternoon i fell off the bus and had to make it oh no are you okay oh you fell off the on your way over here <laughs> i got you <Safia. laughs> i thought you really fell at first <laughs> well i'm glad you made it or you were powdering your nose more maybe you know So I even in the center, I put a little heart as one of the pages for my needles. Yeah, it's not like in any pretty order or anything, but I, I probably need a pin cushion, right? So this is supposed to be to hold my, look at these are in there nice, but um, I probably need a pin cushion because as you see, I use it as a pin cushion also. So, but it, but uh, so I have that. And oh, here's here's an extra one that I have that I sit next to me because there's nothing like sewing and um, sticking your needle into something and then you get lose it. So I decided to have this so that my needle doesn't just get, you know, you know, tossed somewhere. So what are we going to do? How are we going to do this? A couple more steps here for this one so that we can sew. So a kitty. Wait, what am I doing? Oh no, this is what I was looking for. No, it's not. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, there's so much stuff here. All right, here we go. Here's another little doodad. Here's another do little doodad I made. Oh, it's little pockets to hold ephemera and stuff on your on your desk. You know, you have this nice little thing that you can sleeve set open like this and you can just shove stuff in. as you can see I have stuff that's Becky Waters hello 
I put stuff away. Actually, this is what I was looking for. Uh, little, little cuts, um, paper. Oh, this is, this is, look at that. This is, uh, actually we could probably use, this is tracing paper for fabric. We could probably use this instead of, let's just do it that way. We'll put this back and this is tracing paper for fabric. I'm not going to grab one of these out of here. I think the blue will be able to see. Good to see you, Becky. So glad you're able to make it. So yeah, we can make one of these one day if anyone's interested in, in this. You can make them any size book, any size book. If you even have a mini book, we can make it a mini book one. Um, I just had this. These are, you know, ephemera that I, I use painty paper, painty, you know, these are uh, photo size that I did uh, ink, inking on. So yeah, that's what I use this, this here for. So I'll put that back over here. And what we're going to do is we, this is our pattern, but it doesn't have seam allowance. You have to, um, thanks Janet. Thank you. You have to remember to leave a little seam allowance. If, wait a second, how are we going to do this? Are we, no, I don't. I don't need to leave seam allowance. Not on the way we're going to do this because we're going to like paper piece it. So, so no, we're not. I am going to make, um, we're going to make the body out of this one. So that means I need this piece onto here. And what I'm going to do I'm put this here on top of the fabric and this is just tracing paper uh tracing fat you know you can buy it at the fabric store it's uh for you know tracing your pattern onto fabric make sure your pattern's on there and i'm going to tra draw around this cat I'm going to push kind of hard. Now, have you ever seen, if you're not a sewer, there's tracing wheels. Those little, everybody, you know, uh, the little wheels. Some of them have little pokies. You know, they're like little pokies, which I used to have one hanging around here because I used it on my paper. Or they're, they, they're, they're, they like look flat. Actually, I think I do know where mine is. And I can show you the proper way. Well, I don't know if it's proper. Tracing wheel. See that? And what you would do is you would trace around your pattern. Now, this is a, uh, when you're uh, sewing a dress, let's say you have a pattern for a dress and you have those little um, notches, you have uh, where the button line goes and you're like, how do I get that? Now, there's many different ways. Some people, I uh, very seldom use tracing paper and such. I use, I use, I use straight pins to mark mine, but, uh, but a lot of people take the tracing paper and where those notches are, you, you use a little, uh, you, you know, you'll make a little line so that you line those up when you're sewing. Uh, they'll use, uh, the, the tracing paper and the wheel to mark where the buttons go on the shirt. So when you're button, so yeah, that's what your tracing wheel is used for, uh, with tracing paper on your fabric. So here we go. We're going to, trace around this although i'm on batik so i'm not quite sure <laughs> how these dots because this is like you know this this here is uh i i normally on fabric would use a flat one so yeah uh say so and then we will need ears and since i just uh, this is my still on yeah i'm just not gonna move it i'm not gonna mess around i'm going to just Kind of. What are you crying about? Jughead, leave her alone. He will not leave her alone. <laughs> what? Diana, you need to hang out more than just popping in to say you love them. We miss you on this channel. And we're doing Roll a Cat. So I'm going to just. Oh, this hair, or you could, like I said, you know, we can go back to the pencil, which is probably a little bit easier because this is such a small little pattern, right? There we go. Listen to her crying because he won't quit licking her bottom. 
Jug Diana says, stop licking, stop. You want to come say hi? Come here. You want to say hi to Diana? She doesn't get to come in very, ow, you're going to knock me out of my chair. Come here, sit down, sit, sit. Okay, guys, let's say hi to Jughead. Jughead, if you're new here, Jughead's my dog. One of my fur kiddos over there in the doorway is Isabel. This is Jughead. He doesn't have his collar on today. He's taking a break from his collar, huh? You taking a break from your collar? Stop licking so much. What's going on today? Say hi. Yes, yes. What, what, oh, hey. Freddie says hi. Uh, what are you? Get, get down off me. What are you thinking? Hi. There, say hi to everybody. There we go. Hi, Kristen. Okay. All right. There we go. <laughs> and he's off to bother the cat again. I can't believe he jumped up on me like that <laughs> with my arm. All right. Let's get back to this. All right. Here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So, oh, why'd I pick blue on blue? That's going to be a little rough to see, but I can. I can see it. Y'all can't, but yeah, I can. It's it's right here and then the ears. I wasn't thinking about putting blue on blue. Silly girl. So now we're going to do the face and um, face and the tail we need. Again, I, I, I would normally try to save as much paper as possible and move it around. But this is going to be, end up going to, I, I do all kinds of little scrappy things with it. So it's okay. It's all right. I'm going to go a little bit bigger so it overlaps when I lay it down. Mm -hmm. And the face, right? Yeah. And we're not, as you can see, I didn't do these intricate pieces in here because I'm going to use embroidery. I will do embroidery to do these lines and these eyes, the nose, the little feet. So, um, yeah. Becca, need to know how to play roller cat. Hi, Curly. What's up? Cheryl, what do you mean you need to know how to play roller cat? You roll the dice and you and you draw the the numbers that we what you need and what you what you what you what you mean honey were you not here when we rolled the rolled the different that's what the the roller cat showed us how to make today you roll the dice the dice tells me what i need to roll or what i have to draw there's a there's a cheat sheet and uh, which you can just look online, go to Google, put in, um, what is it? I don't think they actually call it roll a cat on Google. Let me see what they actually call it because it will, it, it sometimes in roll and draw a cat. If you put in roll and draw, roll and draw a cat. There we go. Show her the sheet. She wants to see the sheet. Okay, hold on. Let me bring it back up. I have to go out, come back in. Hold on. I already closed it down, guys. Hold on. Here we go. Share the screen. Share this, share that, and share. So there's the sheet. That's what it will look like. And then you roll these dice numbers. And... Oh, okay, 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 okay. I don't know what the numbers are. Cheryl, I'm not good at that. I'm not I'm not like Beth, where Beth is good at that kind of stuff. <laughs> she keeps the numbers of which one she did. This is just what we, the, uh, oh, I'm showing you and you can't see me. This is what it should look like. <laughs> That's the cat we rolled today. <laughs> If you're wanting, if you're wanting a how-to, this is not the channel to go to. <laughs> not, not the channel. <laughs> I love you, but I'm horrible about that kind of stuff, honey. 
<laughs> All right, so let's let's cut this stinker out. Let's cut this cat out today. Now, if you guys don't have fabric, you don't work with fabric, you have zero interest in fabric. You can do this on paper, like I showed you earlier in my book. Normally, I do this out of paper. This is a channel that you come to to make fun of, Becca. <laughs> Thanks, Curly. <laughs> yeah, this is it. This is the channel where you just come and you smack yourself in the head and say, why am I watching this woman? <laughs> All right. Okay, let me, I can't see with my glasses on. I'm going to cut this, I'm going to cut this out. I'm going to cut it out here. Well, not, not, as you can tell, not my fabric scissors. They, uh, these are my, actually, I've used these to cut everything. These things I've cut wire with. These small ones, I they are wonderful. These titaniums, I don't know uh, what other brand, but I did not like Tim Holtz. I had to get rid of his scissors. My thumb would get stuck, and I did not like it. Actually, these aren't my favorite either. They used to be, uh, but my fingers, my arthritis is getting so bad. But um, I love the the, ti the titanium. Oh, all right. So here we have, and it's going to be opposite. But we can flip it over because this is the same on both sides. But we're, we're going to just, for today's, we're going to turn it over. So I'm going to keep this. I'm like, I'm I'm all, I am definitely um, like Janet Nash and we keep all of our little pieces. Got to keep all the little pieces. We're going to just, we are going to cut this off like that. These are the cute little ears that we have. There's something that must have been where I cut the wire. It keeps, <laughs> keeps stopping. What the heck was that? I don't know what that was. 1030. I don't know what that was. Oh, I bet you that's my wash machine. I'm washing a pillow. Hi, Pam. Oh, and Pam, well, Pam, yeah. You're, 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 do you quilt? I don't know if you quilt. I know you're a sew. I know she sews. She's, she's a sewer. Someday I'll get my machine out. Someday I'll get my machine and start sewing again. All right, here we go. Oh, we might have to turn this over because you can really see the blue on this. So we'll probably, yeah, we'll probably turn this over. I, I think, I can't remember if this stuff comes off with heat or if it comes off with washing it. Some of them come off with washing, some come off with heat. But I'm not going to do either. I, we'll, we'll try heat if it comes off. Great. The head. The head. Hi, Pam. I don't know if I said hi, Pam, or if I just started blah, 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 blah. And probably just started blah, 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 blah. -ing. All right. There we go. Whew. Wasn't that's the hardest part, right? Those little pieces. Quilt. I thought, yes, yes. And toys and clothing. And you do it all. Good for you. I love that. I love that, Pam. I thought I might have seen a quilt on your channel. I couldn't remember. Cheryl, you roll the dice for, oh, for each body part. Oh, Cheryl, I'm sorry. I thought you had known how to do it with, um, with Beth. Just, I apologize that you just totally did not know what you were doing. I apologize. Yes. You roll the dice and then whatever the dice says on that sheet is what you would, um, uh, Oh, she gives wacky prompts. <laughs> um, so here we go. Look at this. Look how cute she's going to look. Okay. All right. So let me see if heat. Oh, well, you know what? I might. Let's see. 
I don't I don't remember. We'll try heat. I don't wanna Sometimes they say no. Okay, that's okay. We're just gonna flip her over. She'll be opposite of of this. There we go. Gone. See the lines are gone. Now we need something to put it on. So <clears throat> let me see what I have. Oh, what if she's running? What if she's running in the the, the grass? <clears throat> I have this pretty green that is sitting right here. Are we going to see it good enough, though, if she's running in the grass or playing? So oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll be able to see that. No problem. Oh, she knows how to play. Oh, okay. All right. Well, she's confusing the heck out of me. I know she's been around so many times. I was confused. Joel, don't confuse me. All right. So now you got to decide how big of a piece of paper you kind of want your cat to be on or on in your book or on your paper, on your fabric. I am going to, um, this is going to end up a scroll. Crime time, wine time. Well, hello. Do you have a name? I, it does. It's okay. I know you're new because I don't recognize your name. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to my channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. Crime time, war time, wine time, war time. <laughs> warm, wine, warm, whatever. <laughs> welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Welcome, welcome. All right. So I, um, what was I saying? I've been, I made a scroll. And I should have brought it in here, but I didn't. But my scrolls are going on. Gosh, I'm not prepared at all. I'm putting they're on these bobbins so that they see and they're they're flat on this set so they can stand up. So you have your scroll on there and they can stand up. And I'm just so excited about um, the ones that they're not all flat. They're not all flat, but I have all of mine except one of them are flat and um the, and i will show you that scroll that i finished but not today because i left it in the other room so this is pretty much this is going to be my measuring stick they're also fun for like if you're in a it's like a washboard there you go i made a song maybe that's what i have to do for my welcome song no, I'm not very good. Jughead. Oh my God. Jughead, go. Go. Go now. Go ahead. Go, go, go. He's driving me nuts licking the cat. What are you doing? You know what he's doing. Oh, he come in here because you yelled at him. I just yelled at you too. <laughs> It's all right, Cheryl. So I want it to be about this size, about this yay big. Okay. About the yay big guys right here. And the reason is I'm going to need some, I'm going to need some, some, some room on the side to sew on. Hope I didn't make that too small. No, it's going to be good. Um, and that, I can put this away probably for about a year. That's how long it will take me to do this next. This is the beginning of my next, my next uh, adventure in school making. I'm going to sneeze. It's coming. It's probably going to surprise me and you. Oh, it turned into a yawn. What the heck? Okay. And that's not very straight, is it? I thought this side was ripped. It wasn't. It was cut. It was cut. Now, if you have good fabric, if you have good quality cotton quilted quilting, good cotton, cotton, good cotton quilt fabric. Say that five times fast on a stream. Percussion sticks. They should be percussion sticks. Um, uh, it will tear, it will tear right down the weave, right down the wharf, right down the wharf, wharf, whichever. It will tear straight down and you will get a nice straight edge. Now, if it's a cheaper fabric, um, 
sometimes they don't tear as nice. Sometimes they don't tear as straight. Um, and you don't want to tear too fast. Sometimes I tear too fast and, and they don't tear uh, straight. But yeah, if it's a good, good, good quality fabric, um, there you can kind of see you got it's nice and straight. Why is my oh, because I showed you the dog. Um, there we go. Angela, how are you? How are you doing? How are you doing? There you go. You can see. I, I don't know why this has turned into a sewing. I am not really that big. I mean, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. But I'm talking. I'm telling. So well, you got to decide, you know, your your pieces can be all different size. It's your scroll. You can have a long piece. You can have. I do have. I have a longer piece and I have a shorter piece. Whatever you want, you know, whatever, whatever and however you want. Yes, Dana, I'm kind of thinking um, that my scroll might be cats. You kind of jumped ahead on me there. Kind of jumped ahead on me. Just saying. Hey, Dana, type in, um, type in, uh, were you here when I explained the new, the new prompt? Everybody, you really should go and check out Dana's channel. Go ahead and type Dana, t Dana only, guys, Dana only at this point. Dana, go ahead and type ex exclamation point share. And uh, go head over, guys, and check Dana's channel out. She's um, she's trying to grow her channel right now. And uh, Dana knows stuff. <laughs> Dana does. She knows stuff. I don't know what she knows, but she knows it. So guys, we're going to just stitch him on here. And some people will call it slow stitching. Some people call it hand stitching. Some people will just call it stitching. Some people will just call it not sewing at all. It doesn't matter. We don't care about those people. We care about what's going on right now, right here on this channel. And shabam, shabam. Oh, look, it worked. Worked for Dana too. So there we go. If you have not seen Dana, uh, go check her out. She doesn't have much content right now, but she's going to. We're working on it. We're working on it. We're going to get her to have a nice little channel that we can go over there. She's a little sassy when she wants to be quiet at first, but you get to know her and she will be sassy and say things that are inappropriate. So if that maybe hurts your ears, it might not be the best channel. Kind of like my channel. Sometimes I get out of, out of control, but still fun still fun um i don't know why i'm pitting these all on right now because what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna poke myself with these so we're gonna just start we're gonna just start here we're gonna start with this and guess what you can stitch this on with any kind of stitch you want it doesn't matter there's no rules so i have some colors here that i'm gonna just you know i'm so organized i'm just real you're like real like lemonade um i'm gonna just use this here because it's stuck to my to my uh, my neat organized needle uh cushion thing here there we go so we're gonna use we're gonna put it put it on with some pink right now i think right why not i wish one of these were already i have a needle threader but i left that in the other room too <laughs> that's okay i'm pretty good i'm pretty good Beth, now why would you go get her channel if I if we have a way to do it? You guys, are, I'm gonna. You guys are a hard habit to break. You gotta break all you guys from from doing that. You don't have to do that no more. That's way thick of. That's too thick of a needle, guys. I need a. I need a. I need a quilter's needle, or else it, it's gonna. There we go. I will leave too big a holes. This is too small of a fabric. Let's see. And I think I got three. I think this is three. Probably too much. There we go. I don't think I'm going to get three through a quilter's needle. No way. No way. First try with old eyes. Go me. Go me. I deserve candy. Go me. Beth was. I'm sewing. What are you doing, crazy? She just called me crazy. Linked work for me, Dana. Excellent. Look at that. 
I'm so excited that that's working. It took me seriously. It took me quite a while to to get that link link thing that that thing. What are you doing? Uh, say hi. Hi. Put your hand up here and just wave. <laughs> That's a kitty. When did you? Oh, thanks, Becky. Fox. It's a kitty. When did you do him? Just today. We're oh. doing them right now. Oh. It sounds like you ran a block. Did you? Were you outside running? Curly says hi. Hi, Chris. Hi, everyone. Hi. I'm lurking a bit here, new to the channel. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's try something. Welcome, 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 welcome to, no, that's too hard, nope, nope, welcome, 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 welcome to my channel, welcome, 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 Chris. I tried, I tried to add some, some percussion, it just, it was, I, it wasn't working. <laughs> All right, here we go, so we're just gonna, um, we're just gonna stitch this on. There's there's no right wrong way, really. If you're new to stitching, it doesn't matter. Just stitch a stinker th thing on. We're just gonna stitch it on. Um, I stitch all different ways. I'm not even sure why I put this needle on here, but we're gonna we're gonna use it mm -hmm. so I can poke myself with it. Um, there's no right or wrong way. I mean, if you're trying to be a embroiderer or something, well, yeah, there's right and wrong ways of doing that. But if you're just sewing to sew, to have fun, get a needle, get some thread, fabric, and just start, don't sew your bed, you know, don't be sitting in bed and decide, I need to sew and grab and just start sewing your pillowcases together. That just probably isn't a good idea. Or, you know, taking and making a, a banner, you know, with your your socks. You know, I mean, if you really, really want to, but, you know, the next day when you're looking for a pair of socks and none of your socks match because your banner's hanging up across your bedroom because uh, after sewing them together, you're going to be a little, you know, disappointed in yourself that you made that choice. So probably not the best choice. But any other, if you have, old, if you don't have anything, can you post the pitch of the cat sheet? Yes, I can. Do you want it in my channel, on my Facebook channel? I guess that would make sense, huh? Uh, okay, hold on. Post the pitch of the... Do, or do you want it just on here? Or, no, let me see. It really is quite easy to find on Google. Let me see. That might be easier. Uh, would it be easier if I just put a link in the channel or just put it on Facebook? book because I know I've put it there before let me see what I can do here hold on do, 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 do. Okay, I'm working on it. Let me get it up here. It's a Pinterest file, it looks like. Um, at least where I found it this time. My computer is so slow. Okay, here we go. Based. All right, we'll see it. We'll see. It. Let me know if that works. Um, my computer's still thinking about it. Oh my goodness gracious. All right, so we're gonna get this sewn down here. Just sew it, just just, just whatever you want. Because it's yours, it's nobody else's. You don't have to share. You don't have to share anything, guys, with anybody. This is your art. I mean, if you want to, you can, but you don't have to. If somebody says, can I see, say, oh, I'm not in, I, I don't feel comfortable sharing my art. And they should, that should be fine. That should be 100% fine. You do not have to share with anybody. You can keep all your candy to yourself. I want candy. So machine, I forgot how to put the bobbin in. 
usually the bobbin if it's a lay down one it it needs to make a p a p when you drop it in <laughs> the newer machines i don't know sorry i only know the older machines i think my my new one though does the same thing it's a, it's it's a shape of a p so yeah i'm sewing this on here i'm doing little tiny um I think this is like a back stitch. I think this is the back stitch. I don't know. I, I don't know. I'll be wrong and somebody will call me out on it and I'll look like a fool. So we're not going to. Oh, look. And Beth posted it too. So that's what it looks on the back. But you guys don't care about that. That's what it looks like on the front. Just doing little stitches to stitch this little stinker down. If you guys wait, you know, until later, I might go and get my scroll. And then you can see some of the things I've done on that. But you got to be patient so that I can do this one thing at a time. Because as if you've been here longer than two minutes, you can see I'm not very well at multitasking and remembering to go back to do what I said I was going to do before I started not doing it. <laughs> Sewing. I've been, um, it's that time of year where I get into fiber arts again. Um, I think the cooler weather, we're, we're, our high today is 84. Our cooler weather makes me feel, um, I don't know, it just is time to, to do, you know, fiber arts, sewing and um, sewing and felting. all the all the yummies of the world hi gail how you doing what's shock a lacking oh i got both babies laying behind well both as in two of my babies laying behind me anyone want to see the babies i got three-legged sylvia and jughead laying behind me we already did look at Jughead today, but if you guys want to see, you let me know because my pets are half of my life. The other half is my son. I don't get any time for myself or Shannon. <laughs> Gatton is feeling better. Back to school today. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right. So body done. Didn't take me that long, right? I don't think it took me that long. And then I just do a little stitch back here and secure it down underneath here. Hide that stitch. And that's it because this isn't you know it's not i don't yeah you don't have to double knot and all that kind of good stuff and oh what's that hopefully nothing okay so now change colors oh my you can go past him her bye y'all who you where, you where are you going cheryl oh was those the numbers beth you had the numbers oh you're hurting i'm sorry Oh, great, Pam. Your girls would love, yeah, um, Pam, I know that you and, um, what's her name, sometimes play with the kids together. See how that is? See? That's why I have this little guy. Um, they would love roll a cat and roll a dog and roll a pig and roll a, there's a roll of everything. Oh, I didn't bring any floss in with me. I'm going to have to look here oh here's a piece here's a piece guys that i here's this is just a piece that i was working working on i didn't add this into my current swap uh current one let's see i uh and i just did some fabric that i liked and i made a yo-yo and here i sewed around you can't even see them but there is there you go stitches around those leaves here i just i didn't i didn't I have two more here to do but these are just different this is like a sampler with different embroidery stitches kind of and there we go there's uh what are they calling this this is the canthra or something like that something like that something something as you can see I it's a work in progress as we have finally yay tomorrow that is good. I have yellow, but it's not embroidered floss, but I can do it two layers thick of regular. 
You can use whatever you have. I'm just here's some old. Old oh look, here's some here's some. Is that oh no, that's not that's that's actually trash, yeah. Any of this long enough the this might work <laughs> to do the face. No, because I'm probably, well, ah, ah, I'm going to probably have to go get, I think I have all of my embroidery floss. This is just my little carry, carry it along with me. I think these are all my like trash pieces. Yeah, you know, like hard to use size, usable, but hard to use. Here's some more. I can't show you those. I'm working on something. That's a surprise. Surprise. That will hurt me. Oh, I have. Well, at least I don't have to go into the other room. These are these are silk. Who is this hard to? This is hard to sew with. It slips and slides all over the place. But we will. We will. We will make it work because I don't want to yeah all my embroidery floss is in the other room I normally this is my what I do sitting in front of the TV is this oh that's pink right there oh yeah yay. of course all my pinks we're gonna do yellow I'm about um, we're gonna do yellow maybe we're the oh my goodness what the <laughs> tell you what we're gonna just go ahead and we're gonna double thread it is what we're gonna do and that will get us at least three we won't have four watch me not be able to thread this as well as i did with the threes tiny little eye come on you can do it get her in there there we go um Could I have made it any longer? I suppose I could have. All right. You got to go to a new medical doctor tomorrow? Y'all, too much fun going to all these doctors. Let's get her face on here. I always tilt the face. I, ow! That hurt. That little prick, man. I mean, I pricked myself. The needle's probably a little prick too. But, ow! Okay, so here we go. We're just going to come up from behind. And we're going to just do a stitch. This is hard on my elbows, just saying. Okay. Usually have a pillow on my lap, and I do it on my lap. Too thick. Where's my quilting? I think he's real sharp. Is this gonna work? These are bigger, probably leave a big hole in it, but sharper i can't see chat because i have my glasses off guys so if you're saying bad things about me or if you want to do it now okay so go ahead and, and do it now so i'm starting a blanket stitch here oh, see so yeah with the double threads i'm gonna have to be a little bit more careful and get them tight <laughs> gonna have needles everywhere Why am I having such a difficult time here? All right, here we go. I think it's the double thread is not. And it's little, it's so little. You gotta be a little bit more delicate. I'm not very delicate. 
Yeah, this was, I should have taken the time and went out and got more embroidery thread. That's okay. We can do this. We're not in any hurry. You guys are like, uh, yeah, that's why you've lost half your watchers because they have places to go, people to see, things to do. All right, here we go. Yeah, Shannon scared Jug. He's in here. He won't he won't go with her now. All because she told him. She told him to get out of you know, she didn't even really yell. I yelled him worse than she did. But yeah, he does not like her. And it's not, you know, she really doesn't even raise her voice. It's the tone when she means business. It like he's like, Oh my goodness, mom's yelling at me. I gotta I gotta go hide with you, mommy. Oh, I had to make an extra appointment with my chiropractor for this week. Usually I only go every two weeks. Just went last Thursday. Same old left hip and leg prom. Oh, man. Shit, girl, that's, that stinks. Oh, what do you want? What's Beth asking for Santa for Christmas? What you asking for? What I miss? Tell me. I want to know. That really, really, really stinks. Does the chiropractor, it does it seem to help? I mean, if you were this there Thursday, though, that's really not doing much. What about massage? Massage might might help. Or do you, uh, do you have a chiropractor that does both? Yeah. Pain it just stinks, man. I'm so tired of pain. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's not that's not something that's even fixable. It's just something that yeah, oh man. I'm sorry, that really stinks. I did too, Candy. I'm missing too. What's what's she asking Santa to bring her, right? Oh, okay. I've heard of that. And it's been being used a lot, like with spinal cord injury people, they're do, using that a lot. Uh, oh, a blood glucose monitor. Yes. I, they're... Yeah. Well, if you're, yeah, you can get one free. Most Medicare, when you get on Medicare, which you said it's coming up, right? You're got, when, when are you eligible for Medicare? Okay, here we go. I can't believe I don't think I, I got enough. I thought I'd have plenty here, but yeah, I'm glad I didn't make it too long, though. This is a little bit harder to work with because of the double strands. Mm. <laughs> I wish, uh, I wish darn physical therapy wasn't so expensive. I can't afford $25 a, $25 a, a trip and to go twice a week. Yeah, I just, I, I can't do it. And they, I really need it. I'm supposed to go, you know, supposed to have six weeks, of, uh, uh, yeah, six weeks, six weeks of it or six months of it. Um, uh, yearly and i haven't had physical therapy in years and i don't do it at home no wonder i'm in so much pain great guys thanks for making me feel bad <laughs> thanks for making me remember how much of a loser i am
degenerate wear and tear in my lower spine very painful my doctor said that they would do a spinal fusion so sorry i think i have inflammation in my knees the steroids helped most miriam hi did you ever get what time beth is on i was trying to tell you honey i was trying to tell you but i think she's on like you will be you'd have to get up early or not go to bed she's on six uh central to six central time and she's going to be doing some batiking tomorrow batiking my my sister had a uh, grandma batiki that was her name the last there i guess that was her last name. i don't know i didn't know that side of the family that's she's my half sister she hates it when i think of her that way because i don't think of her that way oh my goodness four in the morning holy moly holy moly Miriam. yeah that's a little well you've stayed up all night with me before but i'm probably worth it <laughs> i tease i tease beth is worth it love you my beth Anyone with scoliosis that gets pain. She was extreme. Oh, it went so fast. I didn't get to read. Our medical system does not care about the people. Heck no. No, they'd rather. I mean, they don't care if I walk again. They they don't care. They don't, you know, because everything, all the, all the, you know, everything that we would do for my, my spinal cord injury, it's well, that's maintenance maintenance isn't covered well maintenance might have you know if they would have worked hard uh at the beginning of my injury it's very possible we could have worked uh, because i didn't have uh, my my spinal cord wasn't split in half um so it, 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 there was a slight possibility and they've they've even proven to some people that have the money that can um you know do the, the extreme physical therapy and use all the equipment that there's you know there's that chance but yeah a lot of times it's just well that's maintenance like that bike that i would like <laughs> it's maintenance so yeah we we won't cover that Yeah, I'm, I, they, I got off the narcotics before I even left the hospital. I, and I never went back on them. I had a doctor try to prescribe them to me and I found out he was a pill pusher. And I'm so glad that I didn't take them and get, use them because yeah. All right. How are we going to hook these down? They're little. I wonder if I should just, uh. What stitch? I'm guessing I just probably just like a little running stitch, maybe a whip stitch. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I didn't want on any, I didn't want to take anything. And I have tried to get off um, my one medicine. I've tried and I've tried on several occasions the last 10 years and every time I reduce the pill because it's one you do your body you know you have to reduce to get off every time I um it, it just I can't it, it's too much pain I am and my legs lock up you know they um uh you know my my spasms get so bad if I don't have it And then, then I'm on happy pills because my anxiety and my depression was getting so bad. Yep. Oh, didn't work so good that time. Didn't work so good that time. I'm doing, I'm only going in with two this time. This, this, the, uh, mainly because uh, these are so little ear, the, the ears, the pieces are so little.
oh yes i have pain i have pain all the time like right now i'm in pain but you just you know once you're you've had it you kind of learn to live with it sometimes it's worse than others and those are sometimes days where you don't you know i cancel which i don't cancel that much i just don't have a good schedule anymore but um yeah i'm in pain all the time um i hurt where i'm not supposed to hurt you know i'm, I'm paralyzed so i'm not supposed to hurt below where i'm injured but uh i do and it doesn't make sense but that's how your brain makes it makes it work so I can't, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. And the medicine for my spasms, you know, that, that works with the pain, you know, that, that that's also a, a pain. So, yeah. Oh, geez. One thing I have learned from all of this medical, because I never had any medical and never before this happened. Um, always argue with your insurance company. Always argue it. Uh, have them review it. Have them second guess. Have your doctor write a letter, which sometimes is hard. But I have good good doctors, and most and like my spinal cord injury doctor, he knows that it's going to take him writing the letter two or three times to get things approved. So that's the you know that's the good thing. Like they weren't going to approve my my uh, the special back I wanted for my wheelchair because the other wheelchair was. Taryn, I, I, I constantly had bruises on the back of my arms because of it. And um, so, yeah, he uh, he wrote the letter to get me this backing, this, this special back on my wheelchair. Hey, guess what? The other day I ran in to my elementary and high school music teacher online, uh, not in, you know, but I have not, I, I have thought about her so many times over the years because um, she really made an impact on me. Uh, one, the remember I'm from a small school she couldn't let you play the always the instrument that you wanted to play and I so wanted to play the drums and I uh she pretty much there there was already people playing the drums and she didn't need another drummer so she talked me into playing the clarinet not an instrument I ever really wanted to play so I really never learned how to play it I just kind of tooted on it and did the best I could just to stay in band because really it again it was such a small school they had to they had to let everybody play because or else we wouldn't have had a band I think there was only 30 kids in the band maybe 30 kids 20 no there was yeah there was maybe 30 kids in the band um so uh I don't know. I could probably think because there was all, there was like there was the most clarinet players and then there was like four or five flutes and then there was three saxophones. I can't believe I remember this 30, 40 years later or whatever, however old I am. Um, and uh, trumpet, I think there was four trumpet players, uh, an oboe, one oboe player. Uh, but yeah, so... But anyways, I ran into her on on Facebook. It was such a weird thing because I was like, I've thought of you so many times through the years and where you were and how, you know, I thought I couldn't remember. But she wasn't much older. She was a very young teacher come to realize. I didn't realize that when I was in school, but um, she must have been a very young teacher when I we first. This blue would be kind of nice on this, but I don't that's not going to. I'm not going to have enough of that. Um, I will, I'm going to go get the scroll that I've made. And I'm going to get all my thread. Because this is silly that I'm, I'm trying to do this with all my thread just in the other room. I will be right back. 
You've got to scoot, scoot out of my way. Keep going. Good girl. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Thank you, Isabel. Thank you, Isabel. All right, here I come. I'm coming back. I grabbed this this piece that I've made too for all of the. If there's any new people still hanging around, I can I'll show. Um, I know. A lot of my regulars have probably seen this three or four times, but it is one of my favorite pieces I I made. So it's pretty much just considered a sample, you know, because it has all the different stitches on it. Um, so just a sample stitch. And this is just some old fabric I found. It wasn't like a good piece of fabric. I just wanted to do this pattern, this peace sign. Um, I like the peace sign. I have uh, the peace sign. Actually, I made it out of out of twigs off of my trees outside. I have it hanging on the side of my house. So yeah, I had uh, that's one piece. That's a piece that I we have hanging in the living room. And uh, so oh, oh geez, here's my scroll. See, um, it's not finished. Finished. I have to I have to uh, finish the edges. I just realized. I thought I sat and did them this weekend. I didn't. So the, it's not finished, finished. I just had it hooked on here. So, uh, so yeah, here's how the scroll is. Um, so can you see, can, I don't know how close you guys can really see what's going on here. So these are French, uh, uh, no, these are uh, not French knots, the other knot. I can't remember what they're called. This is the other knot. And I just, I blanket, I put a back on it. I hand sewed them face to face, good side to good side. And then I turned it inside out or turned it inside right. And then I just did the back blanket stitch to kind of hold them nice and tight together. And this is just a, a piece. See, they're just different sizes and different pieces. Here's a little piece art I did with a house and for the grass. I made some little tiny little yo-yos and made them a tree. <laughs> oh, thanks guys. Thanks. <laughs> and here's just some stitching I did. Here's a little girl, a little boy, I don't know, running up a hill with some balloons. I love this short, short, long stitch. It's such a good filler. <laughs> and here's some, oh, look, here's, I probably cut. This is a die, um, I, a fabric, uh, a steel roll die. That's how I cut these hearts out. A steel roll die. I just stitch those on with. These are some bullion stitching to make the flowers, and then here I just not the best, not the best straight line sewing, but it's hand sewn. Everything is hand sewn. I I did it all. You're awful long short. Well, um, I don't do it. I don't do you. I can't do it filling. I'm horrible at filling long short. I mean, it's just, it's just a stitch. And then there's another like little sample I did. And then what I want to do, see, yeah, that's what it was. I'm, I'm going to actually stitch a piece on here and make it make a tube or whatever that this will sit in. So that then it not, won't be attached, but it will be on here. And then I did some flowers and stuff on here. And just some stitching and some more than others. Um, you know, it, it, it varies on how or what. I do what I want to do with it. It doesn't have to make anybody else happy but me. And if you're having problems with art, any type of art that you do, um, and that, you know, the biggest thing is, oh, you know, 
because I had I used to have this trouble, you know, I wouldn't do things because it's like, well, what am I going to do with it? You know, what am I going to do with it when I'm done or who's going to see it? I don't want to show it. It didn't turn out right. What am, you know, I don't whatever it is. Who cares? You don't have to show it to anybody. You don't have to um, display it. You I, I wish you wouldn't throw things away because I think keeping your pieces of art will show you how much you've grown what you have changed, what where you started, and what you didn't like about that piece. If you throw it away, I I think, because I know from experience, you will make the mistake or not mistake. I don't want to mistake isn't right. Uh, you will you will create the same thing that you didn't like over again. See how it stands? I love how how that bobbin has that flat bottom and. Um, and it will stand. So I need to put that in my bag so that I can actually really finish it. I thought, and <laughs> I've been on some embroidery class, some embroidery uh, channel, like Facebook groups. And they're like, how do you store your embroidery floss? And people show them on like little cards all rolled up all nice. Some people, you know, keep them in little bags. Some <laughs> and then a couple times I've shown them this bag. I'm like, this is how I keep mine. <laughs> Just a little wads. <laughs> oh, th this one doesn't count. This is, we're going to do something with these. But it's going to take a while because I have to create. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, guys. That's so nice. Thank you, Miriam. I really appreciate it. Um, I'm not going to tell you guys what we're going to do with all these. But I've been keeping all my little junk scraps and, and stuff. And, and also, as you see in the other one. But yeah, I don't, because we're going to do something. But it's going to take a while. And um, I've been saving for about, well about two years so blue let's do blue I have blue right here see it came right out of there no problem wadded up in everything thank you Ann thank you I appreciate it oh let's choose a stark blue it's pretty choose a stark blue um right here because I was smart about it this time thank you see that it goes in here because that will be used And that's how you were keeping all your flaws. Yeah, it, it works. I mean, most of the time it's not knotted. Most of the time you're able to get the pieces out that you, you need to get. Sometimes you get a little bit of a knot and you just have to breathe and unknot it or go to a different piece. <laughs> it's, it's that easy. Just, oh, uh, well, well, this is knotted and move on. <laughs> move on to the next piece. It's not like it's the end of the world. And you have to use that one piece. Yes. <laughs> Read above that comment. Oh, okay. I have stuff. I have stuff that I created in school still. It is nice to see the growth through the years. I never show anyone. It's just my little stash of art. Yes. Yes, Becca. I'm learning that it's not the best to keep the embroidery threads on their little cards, put some nicks in it. Oh yes, yep, uh huh, yep, yep. And sometimes those little those those nicks and stuff they do they uh they they cause it a little bit harder to uh to sew with too. Oh yeah, is he good? How long's he been cross stitching? That's something I've never done and, and can't. Well, I have done it. I don't enjoy it. And that's it. You try an art. And if you don't like it, you don't have to keep with it. Just pray you didn't spend $3,000 to get into it. Definitely try it before you go out and buy yourself, you know, a $4,000 uh, 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 loom. You know, I was blessed with my with my felting kit that it was gifted to me. Because, you know, it can be expensive to start a new craft. And uh, it was gifted to me and I fell in love with it. And now, you know, I've, paid, I've spent $5,000. <laughs> Just kidding. I hope I haven't spent that much on it. Uh, most of, to be honest with you guys, most of my stuff that I, uh, well, why don't I do some, do I want to do running stuff? What do I want to put this on here with? I think I'm just going to just 
do a, I, I think I'm just going to do a little back stitch here like I did with the body because these pieces are not that big to really be doing that much um, fancy sewing on them. Uh, oh, I have to put my glasses on to read, guys. Hold on. I just ordered a case that contains a bunch of four by six clear cases to change over to store all my threads as they come in their wrappers. Ah, I can't cross stitch anymore. I can't see good enough and I hate the counting part. Yeah, yeah, it, it, that's too much. I want to just enjoy all my flosses in a biscuit tin. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I can't, Gail, I, I, I have tried. Um, I have tried all the different stuff. Now, the only one I haven't tried is those cards that have the holes in them and you and you kind of put tie, tie the floss on. Um, this is how I kept my floss as a kid. You know, my mother would just shake her head and, and such. I've tried bags, you know, in a little book. I actually wonder where all that is. I do have a lot of my floss in those bags. I don't put them back. I don't put it back in the bag. I don't put in if it's going to take and then I won't enjoy it. If I if it's something that makes the craft not enjoyable to me, then it's it's not worth doing it. It all gets tangled up. Well, yeah, well, mine are tangled up. Mine are tangled up. Oh, M, get out of town. Look who just came in. I she hasn't been here in probably over a year and I have not gotten to sing to her. Janie, Janie, Bobaney, Banana, Fana, Fofaney, me, my, Momaney, Janie, Janie, Janie Sills. My goodness, where have you been all my life? Hi, Janie. My goodness, girl. I mean, I know you guys, I know you guys stay up all stinking night. Um, on over there with Stacy, but my goodness, you could take time and come over and see me. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Good to see you. My goodness gracious, Mama Mia. <laughs> he has stitched for 30 years. Wow, how awesome is that? Wow, holy, holy, wow, wow. Your family is something else there, Becky. You got a good one. Keep him around. Got to keep those blue ribbons. <laughs> yes, Pam, I know where she's, I know where she's at. <laughs> They're up all night. All night long, all night, yeah, all night, all night long. Did you have a good trip? I didn't even, I didn't even get to see any of it. Y'all just are on all night long. Too long for me. I can't, I can't do it, Janie. I can't do it. I'm sewing tonight, Janie. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Excellent. Good, good, good. That's good that you had a good trip. I seen you with the puppy. Spoiling that puppy. Good times, good times. Waiting for somebody to come visit me. Who's going to come? I've, I've offered for like three years. I have my room. I have a spare room. You have to be able to like cats though, because that is Isabel's room. But she shares. She, she doesn't get on the bed. She can't. She's too fat. So it's not like you have to sleep with a cat. And we'd probably even move the litter box out of there for you. She was my buddy. Who was your buddy? What did I miss? Oh, the dog. I was like, I was like, who's your buddy? What did I miss? I thought maybe I was your buddy. Dang. <laughs> your your lap was probably full the whole time, wasn't it? That's so very cool. And speaking of fluffy butt, there she just hobbled through. She just. 
I know, Gail, I know. There you go. <laughs> I usually have, I usually have two on the bed. And Jug finally has, he, he's, he'll sneak up there sometimes. He, he usually though stays on the floor. And none of my cats are cuddlers. I don't, now I used to, my, my, unfortunately, Miss Molly that passed away, she used to cuddle with my head, but, uh, Storm, she likes laying between my legs because I, you know, I don't move my legs. So she loves that. She lays between my legs almost all night. And then, um, Abby, 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 I woke up, woke up the other day. I was actually cuddling with her. I must've in the middle of the night, put my arm around her and pulled her up against my body. And, and I woke up with her, like me, like actually co coddling Abby, Abby puts, well, <laughs> The other day, Shannon rolled over and rolled right on top of her. I had to save her. She doesn't move. She's the sweetest cat of all cats. I wish she would come in here. I wish she'd come in here because she would be that cat that would lay here, but you'd hear her purring the whole time. She's such a loud purr. So loud. So stinking loud. Okay. Now, here we go. Now we got to give her eyes, a nose, and a smiley face. And I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to do that leg or not. I don't think I need to. I think you can tell, although it looks like a fox and the ears are too small to do the, but that, that, that it's okay. I am going to just take a little pencil. I do have a fabric pencil here, but I don't think it's going to show up. It's white. What am I thinking? I'm just doing, I'm just using a pencil. All right. So they're little, little, uh, upside down use upside down use and then we'll put eyelashes on I don't need all that and then we'll do uh, we're probably going to just do a satin stitch for the nose and then the smile I'll just do like maybe a uh, writing stitch or something we'll, we'll see where it's it's whatever blows whatever blows whatever blows <sighs> whatever floats my boat Oh, thanks, Anne. Okay. I'm thinking I want to use black, right? We want to use black so that we can see it. We don't want it to not be able to be seen. I think I have my, my black all in one spot. I do. I'm, I'm not that smart, at least. I keep all my black in one container so I can find it. Or do we want to do brown? Look at this whole big bag for one brown. Isn't that funny? Meow. I don't know what meow.com is. I've probably been there. Can I say here I'm a dog person? Yes, I have a dog. He would he would sleep with you. Brown or black, guys? I think I'm gonna go with the brown. Yeah, I think so. Okay, that's okay, Janie. I'm glad that you're here. <laughs> Janie, you need to tell tell Stacy. She's not a she's she's not a sub to me. She needs a sub to me. I, we know you're not a cat person, Curly. You meanie. <laughs> uh, see, and and ninety nine percent of my crafting supplies. No, I do need. To, I I've said that for years. I've said ninety nine percent. I think I'm wrong on that, and I've been lying to you guys. Um. Yeah, I was looking at all my sub or subbies. And uh, I, I realized that I was like, how dare she? But she, you know, YouTube is crazy. I know she doesn't visit many channels. How can she when she's streaming for 15 hours a day? Um, but I had seen that. And I was like, what? What? Um, what did I do here? Okay, there we go. My brain, my, I had a brain fart. That's going to go over here to my save. Save it. Don't waste it. <laughs> Janet, Janet going to eat. I love you, Janet. Bye, honey. Have a good walk. Woof, Jug says. Bye, Fred. Freddy. Freddy. Fred's the, Fred's the squirrel. That's outside 
he's been coming around he has my bird feeder on the porch is empty so he's been eating it and i heard him chirping at the cats because now the cats can go in and out on that porch and he was he was chirping at them and luna, it's so funny because luna watches them like she's not sure you know she don't she i think wants to chase after them but of course she can't and she gives them that she watches her watches fred with like if i could get out of here and her tail twitches <laughs> okay here we go oh no well since only two went through guess what guess what we're gonna we're just gonna do two strands we can do what we want there's no rules there's no rules yes I would love it there I wouldn't be loving on all those cats he's obsessed all right let's uh i can't see i can't see chat if i take those off i can't see my my sewing if i have them on oh no oh, the worst thing in the world that can happen your needle comes out all right let's while i was in there i should have grabbed my needle threader i didn't know My nails are really gross I just looked at how gross they are sorry sorry you guys that have to see that I guess I need to do a little main maintenance on those nails let's see how am I what am I what, what are we gonna do here It'd be nice if you guys could kind of see what I'm doing not that I'm a good trans teacher Trying to do kind of smaller stitches because these eyes are so little. Little eyes, little eyes. All right. Well, that one's not so good, but we're not going to go back and correct it. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect, guys. It doesn't have to be perfect. You're not perfect. You're not. We can't be perfect. One foot's always going to be bigger. One eye's going to sit a little lower. One ear's going to be higher. We're all, you know, no such thing as perfect. So it's okay. If you think you're perfect, okay then. <laughs> okay then. All right. Oh, I think it does look like a fox, but we're not going to go there. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to just leave this on here and I'm going to do the, I'm going to do the uh, eyelashes. What do we do? I think they're just straight little. I'm going to just do, oh, they're curved. They're curved. I don't know. If, let's see what we can do here. Is it curved? I'm just going to go up and down, I think, here. Let's see what these are. Make these little. I don't know if you guys are saying, how rude are you not calling me perfect? I can't read that because I don't have my glasses on. So. We're not going to be able to curve them because I'm not, I'm not that good, but we are going to give her some eyelashes. Oh yeah. Here we go. And usually, you know, when you embroider, you want to make your back look as good as your front, kind of. I mean, not if you're embroidering for, you know, competition and stuff or what, you know, it, 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 this is for fun. I really honestly um, don't care what the back. Sometimes I try not to make it look too crazy, but I'm not going to tie that. I'm going to come straight over here and just do it because I'm going to put a back on this. It's just for looky looky at, 
you know, if I spill coffee on it, I'm just going to call it coffee dyed. I'm not going to throw it in the wash. If it gets, you know, something really gross on it, it's probably going to go in the trash. So, you know, I'm not going to be washing it hoping, oh, I hope that doesn't fall apart in my laundry. Nope. I'm not going to care. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh, there we go. All right. <sighs> Got it through there. Next one. All right. There we go. One more fancy, fancy. Wonder where she got her eyelashes. Wonder if they're like online. I thought about trying eyelashes. I've been pretty blessed with having nice eyelashes where, you know, some people don't have any. They're just really, really thin. I'm really lucky about that. Oh, yeah. Look, she looks adorable. I think it's a fox. We're going to have to change it into roll a fox because I'm making lentil soup mm, as a vegetarian too. So I'll cook up a bit of bacon for my hubby and son. And then I'm making rice pudding for dessert and homemade sourdough bread. That sounds delicious. <laughs> delicious. I love bean, different types of bean soup. It, it does. Well, Luna looks kind of like a foxtail. She, well, she looks like a, uh, what's those, uh, main, main coon. She looks like she maybe has some main coon in her. Now, should I do the nose pink or red? Although I don't know. Oh yeah, I have some right in there. Should I do the nose red or pink? Let's see, I have some red. I can do red. Oh, I can do it very, very, very variegate, variegated, variegated pink. Although it probably won't be very variegated. It's a pretty small nose, so. Maybe that, maybe I need it to be that hot pink. Let me see if I have hot pink in here. Just let me see what's going on here. Um, I think this is variegated again. Oh, these are small pieces, if I remember. These have been cut. Somebody was doing something, maybe making tassels or something, and cut it. So, yeah, these are cut. So this might be perfect. I can maybe get one of the, one of the, although it's not as bright pink as that one. Now I'm making just more of a mess of it. I think I need that hot pink though. I'm sure I have some somewhere. I wonder what, let's just, that'd be good for my sewing journal. Okay. Uh, got to go. Have a nice day, everyone. Thank you, Becca. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for coming. Pink. Yeah, I'm thinking this hot pink. And look, oh, yeah. If I, if I go right here, that's going to give me plenty to do a nose. Watch it not. Well, I'm going to separate it, too, because we don't, well, no, I won't. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm gonna, what I do know is I'm just throwing those back in there like that. All right. And this one, too. Okay. We're going to throw this here in my knot trash. We're going to, should I separate? No, I'm not. I'm not going to separate it. But we're going to put the knot in this end so that the hot pink is the first thing you see when it sews. Right? Right. All right, here we go. So, yeah, I've been finding some new friends. It's been a lot of fun finding new friends and new channels to watch. Um Been going over and hanging out. I don't think I'm going to get it through here. I'm not going to get it through there. Let's see if I can. I'll just get a bigger. I'll just get a bigger eye. Eye. Eye of the tiger. It's the thrill of the fight. I'm going to put this back in there. Ooh, here's a nice big. I'll, I'll be able to get it through there. That's a pretty thick needle, but we'll, we'll make it work. Make it work. Oh, yeah, here we go. Come on, come on, you can do it. Flatten that out. Oh, my nails are a mess. Oh, so close. If 
I had my nails. They're just uh Here we go. I have such such raw talent. Whoa. Okay, here we go. Let's make an let's go fly a kite. Oh, I pulled the knot right off. Trying to get it as close to the bottom as I can so I don't waste the, as, any of the pink. Perfect. Not perfect because nothing's perfect. Didn't we just talk about that earlier? All right, Gail, love you. Bye. All right, so now we've got to do a nose. We have to get this done. We have to get this done. We, st we still want to do some art prompts, some more fun for the day get you done here and I'm just gonna do like a satin stitch which I'm not that great at but you know it is what it is we'll we'll make it work nice and thick Not to pull it too tight. Okay. my breath sometimes you have to hold your sometimes you have to hold your breath cross your toes cross uh look to the left hop three times all right try not to pull it too tight I don't know why on Mondays I just don't think to put my contacts in right as soon as I get up or anytime anytime I'm streaming I don't know why I just don't because it would make it not the best satin stitch that's okay we're gonna we're gonna finish it off her nose is a little crooked but that's all right we don't care she still is gonna look cute as a little button cute as a little button we're gonna just do a little Pull this down through here. And pull it back up through here. Not the prettiest back. That's okay. There we go. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually make this thinner so I can do the mouth. Come on. There we go. We're going to just go with Okay, why are you giving me Don't give me problems here. There we go. All right. Rethread thread the needle. That was easy enough. Oh, all right. I'm just going to put it on here so that I kind of give myself the right. And she's smiling. Put this come up through here. Up. Gonna go down. Up. Gonna go down. And 
and come up. Here we go. And go down and come up and go down and come up and go down. Oh yeah, yeah, that's okay. It's uh, I'm not really pleased with this sweat today, but. My stitchings, my stitches are off. I don't sew that often online, so maybe, maybe I'm nervous. I don't, I don't know, maybe. Or maybe it's just Monday. here. Nice little knot. Stick, my, stick a needle in your eye. There you go. All right. What do you guys think? There is my roller cat for this week. And of course, I'm, I'm going to do something with her. I will, you know, as you've seen on my scroll, I will add some, some sewing doodles. Maybe, I don't know, a flower, a daisy that she can smell. But there we go. There we go. So I will put this over here. Bring my threads in here. Kind of scroll over there. And we, the next thing I want to do is let's, let's play with some prompts. Let's do some, let's do an art page, a journal page. Um, you guys can help me like we've done in the past. I think that always works so nice. I'm going to pack, get this back up here. Put this over here. Oh, I'm going to keep the paper with it. Here we go. And that will go back into, oh, look at all this fabric I'm leaving out. What a mess. Don't keep your, 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 your sewing box like this. <laughs> do as I say, not as I do. I forgot. Oh, I did forget the whiskers. I already got them packed up. I will, I will get the best whisker. When you see him next, he will have whiskers. Good call, Becky. Oh my goodness. Oh, his whiskers. That's like sacrilege, right? I can't forget a cat's whiskers. All right, now I can't find my mixed media book. Oh. Oh. Whew, all right. Oh, 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 oh. Somehow that one got out there. All right, all right, all right. I need um, two colors. Each, everyone, if you get, just give one color each, and I will take the first two colors I see to start the page. Oh, let me do right here, this one is. So two colors, guys. It's going to be fun to art on. All right. Yes, true, true. The whiskers will make him look more like a cat. I agree. Oh, I want to move this so that I don't get paint on it. We don't want paint on the scroll. All right, the first thing I see turquoise and green. Oh, those are kind of close to each other, but we can make that work. I sure do make a mess when I art. When I art. Okay, turquoise. And green, turquoise, turquoise, turquoise. I know I have a turquoise. Where is that? Is it under here? Nope. Is it under there? Yes. All right. Turquoise. I'm sure, this is the turquoise. Turquoise, yes. Turquoise and green. We'll use those two. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I've got a paint lanch. No, not a paint lanch. Hold on. Yeah, get on up. Okay, turquoise and green. There we go. Sorry. Whew, that took a while. Okay, turquoise and green. Let's 
me get my my paper crafting legs on. All right, let's do. Hi, Janet Burgess. How are you? How are you, my dear? Why do I have surfing in the USA stuck in my head? I added water to this to kind of give it more whitewashing it down. Whitewashing, turquoise washing it down. Mm, you're tired. Oh no, did you not sleep good? Why are you tired, honey? Is it because it's Monday? <laughs> we did blame Monday earlier. Just saying. Sure did. They're like stupid Monday. Stupid Monday. Isn't that great? I don't know what that tells me though. I love that. I, I, I don't know where, what it is. I think it might be an eBay notification, but I'm not sure. <laughs> You are using ocean blue. No, I'm not. Yeah, I am using turquoise. It says it right there. Vibrant turquoise. Now I've done it. I see Beth's goes, Beth's focus is so much better and faster than mine the same camera I don't understand there we go oh yeah yay hoy yo yo there's something over here it doesn't want to stick to it that's okay we're gonna make it stick to it probably where I didn't get the the gesso very good did you read that Becky Thought I was cheating, didn't ya? <laughs> didn't ya? You thought I was using blue. Here is stupid Sunday beginning. Of this, you mean the next Sunday is Labor Day? Y'all's Labor Day? Must have used this recently. <laughs> I'm doing the underpage. <laughs> Whoops. Becky, come back. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> come back. But really, the cap says it's turquoise. I wouldn't cheat like that. Well, Beth is gone. She probably went to sleep. 
Dana's fall asleep too. Is she gone? Hi, Jean. How you doing? Welcome. Happy, happy Monday. Although everybody seems to say we're not happy today. Not a happy Monday. Take this Monday and shove it. I ain't working here no more. Don't be mad at me, Becky. Please. It's all right. I didn't have turquoise for the longest time. So if I, if I, 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 uh, it might've been true in the past. It might've caught me using the wrong color. Today I checked. Oh, geez, and cracker juice. Okay. I'm just not up with it. I'm not I'm not in with the crowd knowing what the heck anyone's talking about half the time. I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know what he's talking about or she's talking about. Oh, I seen it advertised Pam's book video. She's all she's a book buyer. I seen one of them, but I seen that she had another one uh, up. The one I seen was I think all the was it drawing animals, Pam? You got like a haul of drawn animals. And was there fa a face one in there too? I can't remember now. Pam likes, she gets lots of good videos, or lots of good books. This is a, a book buyer. <laughs> huh, I don't know. I used to have Christmas done by July. Well, I would have the bulk of stuff, and then I would buy little things here and there. But yeah, I usually would buy like... I used to buy through the year, you know, what people might want and things, you know, things that wouldn't go out of style or not the, you know, whatever was cool. At that time, it was, you know, just things that, oh, you know, like people collect, you know, my mother collects green glass. So I would, you know, if I was at a, at a, at a antique shop, you know, I'd pick that up maybe in January or February and put that away until Christmas but now as I've gotten older if I buy something for somebody I just give it to them now you know I'm not a my arm's tired from 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 pouncing you might need to take a break come back in five it's a big stencil and i'm not even covering it all i'm just trying to get the basics of it an advent calendar um, what religion celebrates Advent? I know Catholics do. It's uh, the days uh, take t the steps. You you read a Bible verse, right? And uh, yeah, um, you know, some people don't don't I guess use it necessarily as what it was made for but or what it what was original but there's yeah usually little little gifts inside of each window counting up to the day it's supposed to uh be uh you know the birth of christ that's what it you know do i don't know if all religions do all religions celebrate you know the birth and all you know birth of Christ not all religions celebrate the birth of Christ so I 
But I think nowadays, like everything else, so much of it, it's become uh, commercialized. So now it's just, you know, to get, get your kids ready for Christmas. I think the people use it to count down to Christmas because kids are just so anxious and crazy and wanting Christmas. Christmas religions, I suppose. Yeah, true. True that. <laughs> true that, Miriam. I guess so. Ooh. Um. That looks good. I think people use it, you know, to get kids, you know, because they're like, Christmas, when's Christmas come? When's Christmas? Well, the kids will quit asking if you have a little thing that they can go over to every day and open up and, and, but, it, but I know me growing up, we used it, you know, there was, I can't remember, there was some sort of Bible story and Bible verse that was read for each day. Oh, ours was always usually little candies. Ours was usually little candies in the advent can calendar or um, I can't remember. I got a little rubber ball one time was in one of the, one of the doors. Um, gosh, it's been a long time. We did that when I, we were, we, I was young, like when uh, we were very, you know, going to church and such, but uh Um, you know, I, I, after, when I was old enough to make my own decisions, I decided that that wasn't the religion I wanted to be in, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Little figurines. Yeah. Well, um, actually, yeah, I, we did one. Our ad, ad, now that you say that, one of our advent calendars had the, the yeah, it like had the three kings, like each one of the days had a king in it. So it had the three kings and it had, you know, a, uh, a camel. So it gave you the nativity scene when you were done. And I think the, what I think the, was it the I think the like uh, the stable. The stable, the little boxes. And then, of course, on Christmas Day, it was um, on Christmas Day, it was uh, little baby Jesus. You know, he was in the little you had Mary Joseph, usually the very last days, Joseph and then Mary. And then you had little baby Jesus on Christmas 25, oh, December 25th. Yes, Becky, see, see, I think we did something like that with the whole, um, you know, each day. It was when we were little. I'm sure, you know, with my mom growing up, going to Catholic church, school, you know, she got a lot of those traditions. All right. Uh, give me, I guess, a prompt and I will use it somehow. 24, you start on December 1st. 25, I guess. Give me a prompt, guys, and I will use it. Yeah, the elf in the pickle. Mm hmm. We did the pickle a couple times. I think the pickle is a German. Oh, yeah, I guess it's all the, it's the days of Advent. Yeah, it's an Advent calendar. Duh. Yeah. So when does Advent start? It starts, it, it's not the 1st of December, is it? Uh-uh. It's not. Hats? Hats? All right. All right. Let's see. hats. Oh, I got hats for the first one. Pam came in first, Beth. Good try. Good try. Hats. I know. I probably have some paper with some hats somewhere. <laughs> Let's see. Which would be a great prompt because it'd be flat. 
think I have a stencil. Well, I probably have a stencil with hats on it, but or a stamp. Oh, I bet you I have a cool. I, I bet you have some stamps. Oh, this lady has a hat on. And you have a hat on, don't you? Let's see what else I have over here. Now my sewing thing is in my way. Scooty, scoot, scoot. has a hat on but I've used her so many times. A hat, hat. Oh she has a hat on and she has a hat on. How about this lady? She might be fun to art around. She's got a hat on. All right. Let's stamp this girl out and see how she turns out. She's got a hat on. No, Jean. <laughs> so, some of it I can't get to. That's that's a bad thing. But don't make fun of my my mess. But um, there's the sea bath. I was working on my napkins. And uh, oh, I got gray hair too that comes right along with everything. Oh, uh, there's these are uh, pretty much like my fat quarters. My larger pieces are in my cupboard. These are uh, little golden books up here and some uh, Reader's Digest books that I use to alter. This is different papers. Uh, these are like, th th there's one here that's marked jelly plate. There's one here that's flowers. So these are like just different things to use in my craft room. These are books that I haven't started yet. These are all stamps, wooden stamps. Uh, that's a messy shelf. These are boxes of stuff. These are, this is a box. That's my Halloween stuff that needs to put away. Uh, up here, you can kind of see them in here. These are my, uh, my clear or non, uh, non wooden stamps. So cling stamps and such like that. Uh, I, this is a cart. These are my stencils right there in that top, top. These are some some stamps. These are like Stampers Anonymous stamps I have in there. I have that big thing of lace right there. <laughs> this is a container that has all pieces of lace to use. This was cleaned off just a few days ago. Something has happened. A tornado. Uh -huh, I got some, uh, uh, here's some colored pencils. <laughs> I have some knitting needles and I don't knit but I use them to make beads. <laughs> Here's some paints. I just, I love this. Invest in these. These are, this is so nice. And then over here on my other side, well, I have uh, this right here in front of me. These are my, these are my mostly uh, 
I guess, uh, ink markers. And then these, this here, this here thing right here, this little box I made. Oh, I covered in paper, but I made this here little box to hold my, uh, my stamp pads so I can get them. There's some brushes, just a couple. And here's here. <laughs> this is a whole thing. These two shells are glue. These are all just different kinds of glues. And these are like scissors and cutting and tweezers. Hmm. Ah, punches. And then this thing back here that's hanging on the wall. Um, I can only, oh, my light, I just popped in. Uh, I can only reach so high. So uh, there's punches in that that shoe holder thing there's but I, I can only reach so high so that's why everything kind of stops right there that's why this is low because you know I'm in a wheelchair and there's chubby three-legged chat cat this here box this is all 12 by 12 paper um over here in these drawers the top two drawers are six by six papers these are like eight and a half by 11 or the nine by whatever size papers this here container up here are laces uh this is all of my die cutting stuff that we did the other day so that's why that's still there that's kind of and this doesn't fit anywhere so i i'm having a problem where i'm gonna put that that's why that's just there that shelf well that's for when i when i mail stuff and i you know like when i have a sale so my scale is there and then my my printer my label printer is back there and i don't know don't ask about that right there i don't i don't know what that stuff is and there's my there's my embroidery hoops and this is uh, my collection of ladies' hankies, women's hankies. That's not the whole collection, but I, I'm transferring them from another bodice I had. They didn't all fit. So I'm transferring over here, and that's kind of a project in a project. And then we're kind of back over here to where, uh, let me see, this drawer right here, those are all paints. They're mostly Dina Wakely, I think. Those little two ounce bottles or one ounce of those little bottles. Uh, these drawers, this th there's four of them, kind of like on the other side. There's four of these drawers. Those have my steel roll steel steel roll dies in them. Oh, and the drawer underneath the paint drawer, this drawer right here, those are all my stickles and um, stickles and nouveau drops and stuff like that. Oh, and the in the cupboard that the the shoe thing was on that I was showing you where my punches are, in that cupboard's where where all of my bigger pieces of fabric and all my wool stuff are, is. Thank you, thank you, Ann. I do. I love my hankies. I actually here's one of my, this is one of my newest ones. I got to hang on there. I purchased recently. So yeah, I love. I collect them and. Mrs. Gigi. Hello, honey. What's a shack -a How's your day? Did you work today? Let's see how this stamps out. How she, see if she gives us a good, good, clean stamp. Let's see. I still haven't found my, out of all that stuff that I just showed you guys, I still haven't found my refill for my archival ink. It might be in my inks. Oh, and underneath my desk, I haven't even showed you that. Underneath my desk, you know those little bins that you see in like little preschools and stuff that hold these little bins? I have, I don't have the bins. I have these little containers. And under there, I have like my inks, my washi tape, things that I kind of use a lot that I just have to go under my desk and reach. Because it's hard being in a wheelchair trying to get everything at my level. And it's still, there's still things that I have to ask to get help for. Like the things that I don't use, the holiday stuff, they go on top of that, that shelving unit that I showed you. Like my Christmas stuff is up there. I need to get that down and I need to put my, my Halloween stuff up there. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, it was in much better shape, Jean. My sister came down from Pennsylvania and we worked three days straight, um, getting it in order. And I am kind of embarrassed at what it has become, but the good thing, what I keep telling myself, I use this room. I use it. I use it. I use it. And even her, she did a mixed media piece with us that day. And she realized how it's hard because when you're using something, I don't want to go and uh, put it away while we're talking. Although Becky, I've been doing better at that. Uh, did you, 
did you see my arrangement? I didn't. Where would I have seen it, Miriam? Um, home from work early today, but went for a meeting, but now home again. Well, there you go. What a day, Mrs. Gigi. Um, yeah, it, it, it's, um, oh yeah, and you didn't even see behind. I didn't show you behind the, oh, look at how pretty that stamped. Oh my goodness. I didn't think I was going to stamp that pretty. When you, because you, when you look at it before you put ink on it, it doesn't look like anything. I don't know why this is on here. It is making it you know, really, really, really hard to twist this. Huh. All that, all that for nothing. Where is it? Where, oh, where is my ink cleaner? Where, oh, where can it be? It should be over here, but here it is. I won't let you see. Well, you know, I look at it this way. It used to be em embarrassed. I used to think, oh, I can't show my room. That's it is embarrassing. It's so embarrassing the way I keep this room. But the reality is I use it. You guys see me every day. And when I get off here with you guys, I'm usually I'm usually pretty tired and I usually just want to go in, um, use the bathroom and then lay down for a little bit. Because if I have the energy, I want to craft right i'll take i'll take a look miriam later today um you know if i have the energy i don't want to be cleaning this room to be honest with you it's just like anybody like kids mostly you know um uh, probably us humans too but some people have are better than others that oh i really want to be sunbathing in the yard but i do have to pull weeds and you have that choice do you sunbathe because it's such a pretty day because that's what you want to do that's what you like to do and you might not get another day to do it or do you pull the weeds that needs done you know some people are going to be like well i know it's my job i have to pull these weeds and they go and pull the weeds and then there's some people that would lay down and sunbathe because they they it might not be sunny the next couple of days see i'm the lay down sunbathe it might not be sunny the other days who cares that the weeds are growing my life isn't all about what other people think of my yard see different people and that's okay we can all be different remember what we were talking about what's normal and what's not there you go all right so even though you guys wanted me to put a lady in a pickle or a pickle in a hat a lady in a pickle <laughs> i went with this hmm Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You too, Janet. Yeah, you'd go lay in the sun. Well, good for you. See? There's just, you know, it's, it, it's, it, life is too short. After when I broke my back and almost died, it was just like, life is too short. Live it now. You know, live it now because all those hours you wasted cleaning a house to make it spotless because for whatever reason it is because that's how you were raised or that's how you want it to look or that's what your spouse expects i don't know whatever it is um life's too short life's too short you could you know you could die tomorrow you could die in two minutes you know you never you don't know you know so i want to do what i can and live what i want now because you know you just don't know what the what the world's going to have for you what the next step is going to be all right so what i'm gonna do is what i'm gonna do what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna stick this down but then i'm also gonna use some wet glue so that the sides blend in that's what i'm gonna do well that's what i'm gonna try to do we're gonna see we're gonna see okay, we're gonna stick her down because the glue stick isn't really gonna make her blend in too much but when I go in with the wet glue, <laughs> she might be a lady in a pickle. <laughs> Maybe. Now I want a pickle. Somebody else better come in really fast with the nest. With the, I think we've done this before with the darn pickle. You guys, I have one. Remember? I know you guys do. You always throw that dang pickle out at me. Because I have one of these one of these pictures I think it might be one in my other art book in the room where you guys made me do the dang pickle I'm gonna put the wet glue on here 
around the outside to blend that in. See how it's blended in? But if I had to put it all over her, she would blend in. And then I don't think we would see her because the background is so busy that she would kind of get lost. So I'm just going to do this to get this blended into the background with the wet wet glue. And then I use the, the uh, whatever this thing is, the stick, <laughs> to stick it down. Sent you a message. Okay, let's see it. Miriam wants me to see her room, I bet. So let's see what's going on. Let me turn glass off so I can see it. There you go. Holy moly, look at how pretty. Okay, let's see. I gotta. I think I gotta make it sideways. She gave me a uh, uh, one of those long ones. Let me throw this way. Look at all this beautiful stuff. I love it. Look at all the different areas you have, and you're set up to. I see you set up to do. Why are you not? Why aren't you filming? I see the camera there set up to do a do a photo shoot to do do live shows, Miriam. When are you going to start showing us your pretties? I can't tell if that's... Hold on, I have to put my glass on. Can everybody see that? I love it. That makes me happy. I want to see it. <laughs> show me, show me. I'm trying to not have Claire. Oh my goodness gracious, Rebecca. Hold on. Okay, are we... Are we, There it is. There we go. Look at that. Doesn't that make you guys happy? Not you OCD people, but everybody, <laughs> everybody else. I love it, Miriam. Very nice. Well, Miriam, you got to start somewhere, honey. Honey's type right now. Type exclamation point, capital S, share. S, so ex, you type nobody else. I need Miriam to type this. Exclamation point, all one word, don't do space, S-H-A-R-E. Oh, to go live. I got you. Uh-huh. Well, we're, we're going to help. We're going to get you some. Maybe we'll get you a couple new subscribers. Go ahead and type exclamation point. S-H-A-R-E. Now you guys want me to do a darn pickle. Okay. We're going to do a pickle. You guys put me in a pickle. That's what you do. Okay. Oh, it might need to be a capital S. Nope. There it is. So, everybody, if you are not a member, I'd really appreciate you. It's over there. Click on that link and go visit um, Go visit Miriam. She uh, wants to start streaming. She does amazing work. I've seen some of her work, and it's in her blood. Her daddy was a, a painter, um, so it's definitely. Yeah, she could. That's true, Mrs. G. I forget that you can do that. Yeah, if you don't have your 100 subscribers, you can stream through StreamYard. Yes, you can. Mm-hmm. So, yes, uh, Miriam would really be a wonderful addition to our, our, our community. So um, please go and, and subscribe to her so that we can start seeing her. Now I need a pickle. You guys, you guys drive me pickly brained. Let's see. Let's you want to want to do a pickle out of a out of a tag. We can do a pickle out of a tag. Why not? It's not letting me open the link. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wonder why. Anybody else having the problem? Well, maybe what I can do, Miriam, maybe we can talk. We'll talk off screen. Um, maybe your tomorrow morning we can talk. So that would be my evening late this evening we can talk i was just gonna i was just gonna invite her to my stream too mrs Gigi. that would be wonderful and you guys are more on the same time stream or time frame so that would miriam touch base with mrs Gigi for sure if you don't have her on facebook i will uh i can get you guys looked up oh good look oh there you go you got you got two new subscribers miriam that would be wonderful and Anne too Oh, look at that. Wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what that's cool. You guys are so cool. All right, we need a pickle, which is just a cucumber stuck in some juice. Okay. 
I don't know what you, you guys have. There you go. Look at that. Look at all those people sharing the love. <laughs> all right. We need some pickle juice. <laughs> Is that too green for pickle? Maybe. I don't know what's going on here. I've got to make a pickle. like I think this is one of my favorite brushes I don't know why I really don't like the way it paints but there we go oh yeah this is like those pickle remember those kids that it was like in the 80s my sister had them it was a subscription and it was like a it was like something pickle do you guys ever have any kids that were in the 80s the young like born 81 82 something like that so in the mid 80s it must have been a real popular subscription box and she would get a book it was a pickle something pickles oh cool look at see you like my pickle curly i think didn't i have the people living in a pickle in the other one i think so i think so mm-hmm this green it's um it's pale green it's called i got these second hand i don't know anything about them fanta story i like them there it's a nice thick paint um i don't think they're expensive paints but it's a nice bodied paint uh, and it goes on really nice and it covers nicely i i like it now it's a little bit watered down. My paintbrush is wet, but you know. Oh, can you type it in again, uh, Miriam? Go ahead, type it in one more time. If it's been three minutes, if it's not, it will it will not like you. So if it's not been three minutes, wait, wait, wait three minutes. All right. Don't don't pickles have like dots on them? I think so. I think they do. Like some sort of like do 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 do. Little. Are they brown? We're gonna say yes. We're gonna say yes. I don't see what Beth Beth, Beth says. Beth says something. This is a. Uh, I guess it has to. It's a dill pickle. Mm-hmm. A dill pickle because everybody in this century needed a it's why is it being so slow today it, you might have put it in too many times too fast oh come up there we go miss Gigi got it thanks mrs Gigi Mi oh mrs Gigi hasn't been here to know how that's all working guys I, I got I got nightbot now can share links isn't that nice Oh, Beth, it's not going to let you. It's too fast. Oh, it did. Oh, it's only three minutes for that person. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting. Good to know. So I do have to make sure everybody's not throwing their, their links in because I don't want my whole stream just full of links. Wonder why you can't open up Lightbot links. What did you do, Dana? Oh. Yes, and Mrs. Gigi and I, we stream on Fridays together. Friday morning. There's Oh, that pickle is the best pickle I've ever seen. It takes you to Nightbot on YouTube. That's weird. Leave us a zero. Everybody like that pickle? You all know you want it. All right. Maybe pickle is her date. All right. Um, what else do we want to add to this picture? Give me a prompt. Hmm. <laughs> Joe's a chitter chatter. Well, now you want a hat on the pickle? All right. All right. 
click on a link, not just the message. Ah. Yeah, I bet you if you're just on the night bot part, it might do that. I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Wait, you didn't mail it to me, did you? I'm not your partner, am I, Janet? Am I supposed to send you napkins? Because I thought, I thought I was, uh-oh. I'm not pulling a fa You guys, can we not have a pretty, I was hoping to make a nice mixed media piece. <laughs> you guys, always, always messing with my stuff. Always messing. All right, my goodness. Oh, you were teasing. Oh, you now see, you got my heart pitter pattern for nothing. No, too late, Becky. Too late. They're making me make a Mr. P P P Picklehead. <laughs> They're making me put put Mr. Picklehead in, in eyes and a hat. Soon he'll have some legs. Oh, well, that was a little too dark. Try, try again. What if, what if, this is a big what, I, I played the fifth. I'm not answering that question, Janet. <laughs> You'll need to speak with my lawyer. Candy, I don't want to hear it. Don't want to hear it. <laughs> I have until Thanksgiving, Beth said. She said it. I heard her clearly say I have until Thanksgiving. I do have them all separated. All right. Now, it, it doesn't look like a hat. It looks like a... like but it doesn't look like a hat it looks like her hair oh, i'm not talking to any of you people we're having in best group they're doing a napkin swap and for some reason they think i don't mail stuff out i wouldn't i would swap napkins with you curly but 99 percent of my napkins are probably from you I don't, I don't have any of the new ones. Looks like a hat. Okay. All right. Good. Good, 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 good. what I'm looking for in there and don't need no naked people. Um, oh, envelopes. I do need envelopes. While I'm over here, I'm going to grab some envelopes so I don't get in trouble. There's one envelope. Two envelopes. 
All right, look at that. So, so, uh, so, so, so you guys that are expecting, this is what your envelope will look like. Needs a face, needs face, needs face. Oh, I just burped. Excuse me. Excuse me for what? I leaned over and it kind of. Oh, how about there's a hand, a foot, no eyes. I'm looking for some cat eyes. Kitty, 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 kitty. You know, none of my cats came, will come running. They're like, yeah, that's mom calling. I'm going to go back to sleep. Mm, those are some pretty eyes. Okay, hold on. Everybody hold on to your britches. I'm falling out of my chair, leaning over like this. Dumb. My mom would say, don't do dumb stuff. Oh, those are too big. Oh my goodness gracious, why is this so hard? I'm just looking for some eyes. Just some eyes. There we go. We're gonna just use this one because these eyes are perfect. Bye, Ann. Where's who's Ann? I missed who Ann is. Oh, she, I sang to Anne today, right? She was new. Bye, Anne. Thanks for coming. Hopefully you come back. I'm not for everybody. We all know that. That's for, that's for sure. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah. This, this person is mischievous. Mischievous, mischievous. All right. Her date is fugly. Looks like it's wearing a toupee. I know, right? I agree. Hey, Candy. I do what these... I do what my my uh, my fans want. <laughs> I do what my fans want. Now, now I'm, I'm remembering why I use the... Why I use the, the, the prompts. I mean, the pickle has something on its head. It's a pickle. <laughs> There we go. Pickle has a vase. Are we happy? Are we happy now? Nobody likes the hair. Well, it's too late. I stuck the hair on the pickle. I use glue. The pickles. The pickle hair is staying. Oh man. Okay. So what's the next prompt? Because I don't know where Pickle Man needs to go <laughs> until I know what the next prompt was. I was hoping to do some layers. I think it is Mr. Potato Head's cousin. I definitely think of Mr. He needs a feather in his hat. We had to make a feather like last time, remember? We don't I don't have any feathers. So Oh, Ann Lair was here? I didn't even know she was here. Bye, Ann. I totally missed her being here. I don't think I said hi. Rude. Rude, rude, rude. Okay, so I might have a metal feather, but it's not going to be very pretty. Mm. Let's do a yellow. I have this here, yellow. Let's use that. Uh oh, I may 
a feather. I'm going to wing it because we did so good the other day with making a feather that I think I can remember what I did. Have to, you have to ruffle the feathers. No, because I'm really not into feathers. It's not something that really sparks my interest, so I don't have anything. I might have a lot of stuff, but a lot, most of it is stuff that interests, you know, that a lot of cats i have a lot of cats i have four drawers of i have four drawers of cat stuff over here and i didn't even sh I, because you can't see it i have shelves of just cat stamps over there and they're not single they're like double and triple thickness i have lots of cat stuff all right he's got a feather in his toupee And she, oh my goodness, you can see, she has gotten, she was happy when I stamped her. When I first put her stamp on, now she's like, yeah, I'm not dating this guy. Papa, please don't make me marry him. That's what she's saying. Look at this. Look at her face. She's like, yeah, no. And he's like, hey, baby, want to go to dinner? I know this place called the Pickle Barrel. There is a place in Pittsburgh called the Pickle Barrel. You used to get, you could, one of their, why they name, you could get those big pickles out of the jar. That's why she couldn't find a frog. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. But I did have some striped wrapping paper. <laughs> Envelopes. Why did I pull these out? Oh, for my. Where did I put the napkins, though? Oh, my gosh. This is ridiculous. Where did I put the... All those napkins I separated. Okay, everybody, don't move. Don't move. Oh, here they are. I knew I had them. They're getting all squished. Oh, my goodness. I'm putting them right now. Right now they're going in these darn envelopes. I'll make them pretty I'll make them pretty later. I'll make them fit. Holy moly. Fresh and fruity. Okay. Pickle barrel. Yeah, that's what it's called. Mm-hmm. And I guess it was a real big hangout, like in the 50s and 60s. Alright. What is these two doing? I gotta know. Back from dinner. Janet, look what they made me do. They made me put a face on a pickle. Hopefully um, you're back and can give us better direction. <laughs> better direction in our in our uh, creation here. Look at me, Becky. I'm putting stuff away. All right. Uh, these people... She's, she's looking over at Mr. Pickle like, what? Don't go out with him. You'll be embarrassed. Please, Daddy, please. Please, Papa, please don't make me go. You have to go back. Was the prompt from Pam? Yes. No. C 
Curly. I think Curly said pickle. Curly has a thing for pickles. Hmm. Was it you, Janet, that was going for uh, physical therapy? Is that how we got talking on physical therapy? I can't remember. I got to turn on. I got to get some air moving in here. It's getting it's getting humid because it rained this morning. Let's uh. He needs Mr. Pickle needs some legs. Don't you think? I mean, he can't be just he can't. How's he going to walk? You can give him little stubby legs. Can't believe I'm giving a pickle legs. Okay, here we go. It's all for you guys. Yes, that's right, Becca. Show us all how to clean up our crafts when we need guidance. <laughs> The best thing, guys, is have everything really, really close to you and just throw it on the shelves there and call it clean. Shh, don't tell Becky that's how I do it. Oh, yeah, he needed these little stubby legs. I'm getting married in the morning. Ding, dang, the bells are going to chime. Pull out the stopper. Let's have a whopper, but get me to the church on time. I'm telling Mr. Curly. I don't know the song. I mean, I think I know it, but I, I can't think of the rhythm to be able to sing it to y'all. I mean, I, when I first read the first line, I was like, what? I thought maybe you were getting like your renewing vows or something when I first read. Then I realized it was a song with the second second line. Oh, my. He's getting more handsome. I think this is this is what he needed. Let's add some arms because you can't hug somebody without arms. It's kind of hard. Well, you, you can hug and they could wrap their legs around you. You know, if they don't have arms, don't judge people that don't have arms or legs. That's not nice, but. Ah, my fair lady. I was going to watch that the other day. I go on these binges and, and like watching. We've talked about that before with that. Rear window. Love that movie. I'll watch that over and over again. The old one, not the remake. Guys, not the remake. Okay. Oh, maybe I need to start making Mr. Pickle heads and just start sending these to people. Look at how cute. I have to admit, he did. He's turned. Well, I think it's kind of looking like a she with that face, but that's okay. We're not going to, maybe, pickles really don't have genders. I'm going to be honest, you know. He may need his own page over here. And just, look, he's waving to her. See you later. You weren't good enough for me anyways with that snotty smile. You take Papa and tell him. I ain't working here no more. Okay, so does Miss I get I'm thinking Mr. Pickle needs a friend because now he looks so dang cute. So let's make Mr. Pickle a friend. Get my green back out. If you kiss a pickle, do you get a prince? No, you no, you don't. You get a corn. You kiss a pickle, it turns into a corn. I'm going crazy here. I'm not even going to draw. It's going to be like one of those. It's like one of those fat ones that have all the juice in them. Oh, yeah. That sit at the bottom of the jar for the longest because nobody wants it because it's small. But when you get it, it's the best tasting juice you've ever had. I mean, pickle. Hmm. That's why we should all go for the short round ones. <laughs> Don't judge and go for the short round ones. Look at what you've done to me. Now I'm making pickles. I'm going to be known as the pickle lady. My reputation will be tarnished.
Every time I want to do something serious, you guys throw out pickle every single time. I'm a pretty big pickle. I'm top pickle around here. This guy's the bottom pickle, but he's the juiciest. All right, now I gotta find eyes for you. Kitty cat stickers to the rescue. farm animal stickers too. I just have tons of kitty cat stickers with eyes. I just have to find them. They dumped out, I think, and that's the problem. I have all those eye stamps, but I think they're too big. Oh, my cats. I mean, remember when I had that big mess and they all went tumbling? Those are too big. Those are too big. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hold on, I think I found some. I have to make sure they're the right size. You don't want you want don't want too big. I think these will work. Got some B eyes. <laughs> okay. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Cutting out some B eyes. Hold on. Me. They're a little little, but that's okay. We gotta get a hat on them. Because the hat was a prompt too, right? And a feather. Holy cannoli. Okay. Wonder if I have a hat. Feather. A hat. Just a hat. I might have that. You don't hear that? That's my wheelchair making all that noise. It's such a weird thing to have a hat stamp. I know I do have some like cowboy stuff, but I don't have a clue which container. These were, oh, oh, this might work. This is the one I was thinking of. So this might work. Uh, what are you sad about, Kristen? Welcome back. Don't be sad. Can't forget the top of the hat. Oh, that is one nice hat. It's an old stamp. I think it was hand carved.
Wow, that's stamped good. Oh no, Kristen. Oh my goodness. That's hor that's the worst pain really. Well, it's not the worst. The worst is kicking kicking the furniture with your baby toe. But yeah, fire ants are not fun. Not fun at all. I have a huge mound in my backyard from the little bit of rain we've had. They've kind of gathered. I've seen it over there. They're impossible. They're impossible. You have to burn those suckers out. I'm cotton train. Don't want to mess up the hat. We'll leave the ear on there. The, the pickle may need an ear to hear, hear what the other people are saying. Oh, yeah. Mm -mm. They say put cream of wheat on mounds. Um, I, I don't. I'm not, I've done a lot of stuff. Never have tried that one. Jack's bath. No. Boiling water doesn't work. They just move. I have, we have tried everything in the, my years living down here. Tried the putting hot dish Dawn, you know, Dawn liquid down in it, down over top of them. Oh, I'm putting my eyes on upside down. How embarrassing that would be. <laughs> oh, it's stuck now. Stuck now. Mm-hmm. One time I was in, a, in my wheelchair. This was after I got injured, of course. And, uh, um. Uh, Um, uh, and I didn't know they were climbing up on me. That was crazy. Cause then they, they, they had to get me out of the mound that I was sitting in that I didn't know. And then they pretty much had to undress me in front of everybody to make sure they weren't biting me in places I didn't know. Uh, 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 uh. All right, now he needs legs and arms. A feather. Maybe he'll hold, he'll be, maybe this guy's going to be holding a feather. It's going to have longer legs because... Well, because he's a, he's, he's chubby. My name is Chubby. Okay, here we go. Make him stand nice and tall. Yes, he's a juicy pig. Yeah, he's a cowboy. I should have gave him bowed legs from being on the horse, riding the horse all day. Did you come back? To nope. Isabel did, though. Hi, Isabel. You're back. <laughs> I'm sitting here making pickles. <laughs> I don't know how many times I've said that, but I'm just saying. I'm 
making pickles. It might not. The pickles not, might need their own page, guys. I might just have to do a pickle page. <laughs> I shouldn't even have got her. I should have just went with the pickles. All right, we need a feather. I think he needs a blue feather. Don't you guys agree? A blue feather. Too straight to be cowboy. I know, I know. Yeah, he needed a little bit bowed legs. Maybe he's a new cowboy. He is kind of, you know, on the round side. Maybe he's not a good cowboy. Maybe he's one of those new cowboys that only ride four wheelers. And I have my glasses on. I can't see them. I was just guessing. This one, I should have Beth's fancy fit scissors. Beth has those fancy scissors. Got to ruffle the feathers. So they look like real feathers. Because, you know, that's how you make them look real. You ruffle them. Cut them weird. There you go. He's holding his feather up. He's like, hey, I got the feather over here. And this one's like, I win. I had the feather first in my hat. You didn't listen. He's a city cowboy. Yes. <laughs> right. All right. All right. Is that good enough for our pickles? Do we have a pickle family? What are we going to do with these pickles? We need to make a, we should make a book of pickles, a zine, a zine of pickles. I wonder what size they would need to fit on. I wonder if they would, if I cut, if I did a 12 by 12 piece, if, uh, you know, if I made a zine out of a 12 by 12, would they be tall and would, would it be big enough? I wonder, let me get one. I have tons of 12 by 12s that we could mess with. Oh, you guys crack me up. You all are look. It's okay, Isabel. I'm not coming. It's okay. Lay down. It's all right, honey. I'm not coming. I know. You're so tired. Just getting up and moving makes you so tired. Let's see here. Give me a 12 by 12 piece of paper. Somebody wouldn't store their other stuff on top. It wouldn't be so bad. Oh, maybe a wood piece. That's what everybody needs. Okay. Now, this is the trick, Rebecca. Learn how to, to do a zine. I'm stuck. Hold on. I have to figure out how to turn the wheelchair around without knocking stuff out. Okay. I know. Look at this. is what I pulled. All right. Pickle buddies. Okay. So. Oh. Now I fold it. And then. Um, I, I think I fold it again. And then I fold it again. And then fold it this way. Do I fold it again? Or do I? Yeah, I have to. And then the, the, they're not going to fit if I fold it again. Wait, no, I cut this. Cut that. We're going to do it and see if it works. If it doesn't work, it's okay. I have another one. 
I think that's right though. You do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you do this. Oh man, I just had to think. Just had to use my brain. Did I cut it? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I am learning. Oh, for goodness sakes, fold. Fold, 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 fold. Really, guys, they're not this hard. I watch other people make them all the time. Okay, here we go. Fold, see this? There we go. You have to be a little bit better at your folding. I, I wasn't very good. You have to be more, a little bit more precise or something. It makes, they work better. So I'm thinking, because mine don't usually lay real good. Let's see what's up with that. It's, it's not right. Oh, well. It's good enough for my pickles. <laughs> good enough for my pickles. Here we go. Look at that. I think they'll fit. Let's see. Oh, heck yeah. We've got a pickle zine. We'll have to add more pickles because it's, well, it's getting late. We got, we'll have to make a story up for these pickles. <laughs> All right. I will, pro I will work on making some pickles to, because we got to fill, fill the pickle, pickle guy. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll do it like this because it definitely needs some pull tabs for sure. You can't have a zine without pull tabs. So <laughs> we will make more pickles more pickles i have tags oh and i these are i have way i have so many tags that's why i decided to use them um so i will make let me put it in here so, so that i know that we need to make more pickles out of the tags you guys crack me up maybe what i'll do is i'll just paint this all pickled eggs oh we could have an egg cut in half we could have like an an egg are they green when they're pickled? I guess we, well, what we could do is we would we'll ink the outside so that it's green on the outside, but then we'll have, and then we'll have the orange center. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Let me write that down. That's funny. That is funny. Oh, I, the book that I made to have as papers I used, so now we can't. So let me, um, we'll put it here, pickled eggs. And that could be their friends, the pickled eggs, right? <laughs> What's the mixed pickles? I mean, I could do pickle slices. Pickle slices. Which one came first, the pickled eggs or the pickles? Good question. I don't know what mix, mixed pickles are. We don't mix pickles. That's just not right. <laughs> All right. So next time, next time, join me making pickles. I can't believe we're making pickles. That's so funny. We will uh, make a pickle book. <laughs> we'll make a, like a little, we'll do a zine of pickles. Um, we'll need some pull out. We'll, I'll have to glue this, but we'll have, you know, little tabs that pull out and uh, we'll make a family of pickles. Pickled onions, pickles with spears, <laughs> cauliflower pickled. <laughs> pickled, ooh, pickled tomatoes. I don't know how I do that. Well, we can't get too crazy, people. This is a pickle book. <laughs> can't get too crazy. La, 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 la. Look, I'm... I'm your pickle friend. Do, 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 do. Oh, we can't leave the book. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go to bed. Good night. Look, and it could be, oh, good night. There you go. Pull them out, push them in. Pull them out, push them in. Good night. Everybody, have a wonderful day. I'm losing my mind. I love you all for being here. Thank you. Um, visit everybody's channel. Um, tomorrow, Beth is going to do batiking on her channel. So go over Beth Schuler. She is uh, going to do batiking for the first time. So do that. Um, I don't know if I will join in on the channel or not. I haven't really talked to her about that. I'm not interested in doing batiking myself. I have too much fabric and just I can't get into something else. So I love you all. Thank you. Keep spreading love. Bye.